Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Age of Gods, signed to Bai Ming Kunpeng at the beginning of the game. Chapter 111. Ha, huh. Qin Ming only felt that he had experienced a thin film like a water wave, and then he felt that he was suddenly open up in front of him, and the sun was very dazzling. After getting used to it for a second, there was a huge plane that caught your eye. There are various mysterious plants on the plains, and occasionally many fierce beasts can be seen running happily on the grasslands. However, as soon as he entered it, Qin Ming could clearly feel a sense of lifelessness. The whole world was like a dying old man, lingering here. Boss, this is the world we were in before, called the Banished Continent. Huo Qingqing took a deep breath and returned to this place, feeling mixed. Exiled Continent, funny name. Qin Ming smiled indifferently, not paying attention to it. After looking around and admiring the scenery, Qin Ming began to let go of his spiritual thoughts and search around. He didn't come here just to see the scenery this time. Replenishing employees is a mission of great significance. Soon Qin Ming found two places, where a strong aura exuded, it was estimated that the Demon King and Demon King were located. There was a flash of excitement in his eyes, and the power of space emerged from his body, wrapped in Huo Qingqing and Bei Mao, and disappeared directly in place. In a cave, a wild woman wearing animal skins is in lotus position cultivation. She is already at the peak of the emperor level, and she is close to the god's level. She understands that only by breaking through and becoming a god can she be qualified to escape this world that is about to collapse. But because the origin of this place has been broken, spiritual chi is far less than one-tenth of the previous one. It can be said that her ability to cultivate to this level is already at the limit. If you want to break through the gods, you don't know how much energy it takes, and the possibility is very slim. At this moment, there was a wave of spatial fluctuations, and three figures appeared strangely in front of her. Who? The wild woman opened her eyes in an instant, and the powerful aura on her body exploded, but in a second, she was like a kitty that was hammered. She died instantly and stood in place obediently. Bei Mao and Huo Qingqing had already released their own breath and suppressed her in an instant. The wild woman was shocked. In this world, it is very common for the strong to wantonly enslaving the weak. At this time, these three people suddenly appeared, so that the wild woman had to worry about her next fate. At the same time, she was also looking at the three of Qin Ming, and found that Bei Mao and Huo Qingqing were standing on both sides of a young man, seeming to support each other. And the costumes of the three are simply too different. She can't understand it at all. Is this the abode of your strong man, it is so crude, living in a cave? Qin Ming looked at the cave in surprise. Don't tell me that you don't even have any civilization here, do you drink blood? Bei Mao looked embarrassed and coughed dryly. Boss, this is only a special situation. Our development here is like yours, um, ancient times. Qin Ming knew it, and wanted to see what the city would look like for a while. Shaking off other thoughts in his happiness, Qin Ming looked at the wild woman in front of him. Looking closely, Qin Ming kept nodding. The temperament of this woman is like a jungle beast. She is wearing a short skirt with animal skins. The artifact on her chest is wrapped in animal skins. In addition, she has wheat-colored skin. The overall look is full of flavor. And she is quite beautiful. Compared with her, those stars are nothing. Who are you and what do you want to do? The wild woman looked wary and coldly snorted. You must be the running dogs of the wild tiger, I tell you, it is absolutely impossible for me to be his woman. Even if I die, I can't let you succeed. Qin Ming's expression was quite wonderful. Don't think about it, we are looking for you to give you a great opportunity. Bei Mao said coldly. Joke, that's what Mad Tiger said when he caught me, but just because of my face. The wild woman sneered and sneered, then reached out and touched the artifact on her chest. To be honest, a woman's body is really a burden sometimes. Qin Ming almost choked to death with a mouthful of water. Seeing that, she still doesn't like her identity as a woman, but it is also true that in this world where the strong are respected, a woman's strength is not strong, and the consequences will not be good. Especially beautiful women. Obviously, the wild woman now suffers from it. Explain to her, Qin Ming said slowly. There was a look of surprise on the wild woman's face, and she didn't understand what it meant. In the next five minutes, the wild woman was lost in the explanation of the two white hairs. I think she is pretty good. Carefully polished and polished, 
she should be a good seedling that is more suitable for waiters. Chen Ming nodded, and he was attracted by the unique temperament of the wild woman at first glance. In modern society, there is no woman with such a temperament at all. If you take it back and put it in the hotel, even if you don't do anything, it is also very good to serve as a front door welcoming miss. Ha, huh, it's just a trick of some big family children, don't think I don't know, you just want to catch me back and enjoy it. The wild woman snorted coldly. Woman, don't know what's good or bad, it's a great honor for the boss to see you. Bai Mao snorted coldly. As soon as this remark came out, Qin Ming's eyes widened and he waved his hand hurriedly. Ahem, don't say that, it feels weird. Bei Mao's behavior makes Qin Ming feel like the villain in the novel, and Bei Mao is the vicious dog in front of him. This feeling is very bad. Although Qin Ming's current behavior is to catch strong men, he really is not the kind of doing bad things. Boss, in my opinion, such a guy directly chopped up and feeds the dog. There are many such women in the continent, so there is no need to hang them on a tree. Huo Qingqing said. Qin Ming rolled his eyes, and the feeling of villain grew stronger. In this way, what are your conditions? Qin Ming said. Upon hearing this, the wild woman frowned and her face was suspicious. I don't want to follow you, there are no conditions. Ha, huh, today you have to have it, and if you don't have the condition, you have to have it. Do you think you have a choice? Bei Mao clenched his fist and snorted coldly, and the powerful aura bloomed on his body, directly pressing the wild woman's face pale. Don't deceive people too much, I won't promise you. The wild woman snorted coldly. One minute later, under the, friendly, persuasion of Bei Mao and Huo Qingqing, she finally became much more, calm, and she cooperated with them very, proactively. Her conditions were simple, just kill the crazy tiger who had been chasing her before. In the eyes of the wild woman, whether it was Qin Ming or the wild tiger. Neither of them could be dealt with by her, especially since they had been chased by the mad tiger for a long time before, and they were almost taken away several times. In contrast, crazy tiger's unsightly face makes her more willing to choose a handsome young master like Qin Ming. And one thing I have to admit is that the wild woman understands that she has no hope at all if she wants to break through and become a god. Since I can't resist, I always have to make a choice that makes myself comfortable. Qin Ming readily accepted this. He liked fighting or something the most. Don't worry, go see another place. Qin Ming's voice fell, the power of space wrapped a few people, and once again appeared in a cave, where a strong man was closing his eyes and cultivating. After feeling the appearance of Qin Ming, the strong man's first reaction was an enemy attack. Without a word, he would chop Qin Ming's head by picking up a big axe. Therefore, Bai Mao subconsciously slapped the strong man to death. The scene was very embarrassing. With a dry cough, Qin Ming looked at the wild woman. That's it, do you know where the wild tiger is? Knowledge. Dot dot dot. In a valley with excellent scenery, where birds and flowers are fragrant, and streams are gurgling. It is a very suitable place for the elderly. At this time, there are hundreds of demons in this place. Everyone is holding a wine glass made of human skulls. There are also many human dancers who are trembling, playing music and dancing. There was a throne in the crowd, on which sat a burly man who was at least five meters tall, reminding him of a truck-like figure. The man's face was unspeakable, except for a scar that was very eye-catching. This person is the mad tiger. The main body is a wild hunting tiger with some special bloodlines. It is extremely powerful. It is also a high-level god-level cultivation base. It is the overlord within a thousand miles. There are more of the nature of gangsters. Master Mad Tiger, I feel that woman's breath is nearby. While the Mad Tiger was drinking and having fun, a thief-eyed guy rushed forward, his face full of excitement. Oh, seriously, Crazy Tiger said excitedly, my perception can't be wrong, and, ha, huh, that woman is here. When the voice fell, see Taoist shadow walked over from the side. All the monster races were aware of it, and they looked at Qin Ming and the others with unkind eyes. Among them, a few of them took up weapons and had a posture of directly smashing them. Good fellow, he looks really stubborn. Bei Mao saw the mad tiger on the throne, his mouth twitching constantly, he swore that he had never seen such an ugly guy in his life. On the side, Yun Zixin looked disgusted and said, why don't you know why I didn't agree to my death? Same feeling. Huo Qingqing nodded, 
Chen Ming looked around, but did not find any suitable candidates, and then looked at the five-meter tall man. Are you a mad tiger? Ha! Huh? Human beings dare to enter this king's territory, recklessly. Crazy tiger sneered again and again. Little ones, give me. Before Kuang Hu's words came to an end, his eyes widened suddenly, blood overflowed from the corners of his mouth, and his expressions were filled with disbelief. Boom! Crazy Tiger's huge body hit the ground directly, throwing up a cloud of dust. Suddenly there was a dead silence around them, these monster races discovered that their boss Madu had his pigtails up. Inexplicably warped braids, panic spread for a while, but before they could react, a blue phantom condensed and formed in the air. Immediately afterwards, blue light suddenly appeared, and the surroundings were instantly raised to the ground. Yun Zixin was dumbfounded on the spot. This, is this over? She thought that she would have to fight hard at least to solve the mad tiger, but she just blinked her eyes, she didn't even see anyone taking action, everything was over. Suddenly, Yun Zixin looked at Qin Ming's eyes with fear and horror. What do you think? I am short on time, there is no need to waste too much. Qin Ming looked indifferent, and then took out a piece of parchment, which was the master-servant contract. Sign it, it will be my person from now on, oh no, it will be my employee. Qin Ming smiled and said, I will tell you more when I go back, and I will follow it for now. Yun Zixin swallowed dryly. She knew that she really couldn't escape Qin Ming's palm. Bite the scalp and press the handprints on the master-servant contract, the soul yoke was immediately formed, and Yun Zixin completely gave up. I hope Qin Ming won't torture her too much. Dealing with the mad tiger is a piece of cake for Qin Ming. Although the opponent is a high-level god, now Qin Ming's strength is even more terrifying. Not to mention that there are many god-level guardian spirits, just a venerable level Xuanyuan sword is enough to easily kill it. Qin Ming has never used much power until now. It can be said that you fell down before I tried hard. Because the stay could not be too long, Qin Ming began frantically looking for employees with good strength and potential. But in most cases, it's not as expected, either some blood chi fierce guys, or a big demon who cannibalize people without putting salt. Not to mention that these guys, Qin Ming, looked uncomfortable, and just took them back and put them in the store, I am afraid that no guests would dare to come in. However, there are also some good situations. For example, after spending an hour searching for hundreds of demons and monsters, they found a natural strange thing. This is a boy who looks like white hair, 17 or 18 years old, but a demon clan. The strength is no more than the strength of the junior gods. The reason why Qin Ming chose him is because he was cooking in his own immortal cave when he found it. Although the rice is not good to Qin Ming, it is a good seed. Moreover, as soon as they saw Qin Ming directly surrendering, they fought to the end, and after some interrogation, they directly signed the contract. You can also become a master chef in the future. After continuing for two hours and reaping a loyal and honest demon clan, Qin Ming suddenly showed excitement in his eyes. In his spiritual thoughts, he felt a powerful breath. Good guy, I finally found someone who could have seen it. Qin Ming said excitedly, the power of space appeared on a high mountain with everyone. There is a great hall halfway up the mountain. There is a middle-aged man sitting on the throne in the hall. He is holding his forehead with one hand, and he seems to be resting. Space fluctuations came, and Qin Ming and others appeared in the empty great hall. The middle-aged man opened his eyes instantly and looked at him, a touch of surprise appeared in his eyes. Humanity, not bad, but the strength seems to be something. As soon as Qin Ming appeared, he started to look at the powerful aura exuding from the other side, he was very interested. But Bei Mao and others were directly overwhelmed by this powerful breath. In the surprised eyes of this demon lord, Qin Ming smiled lightly. Come on, hit me. As soon as this remark came out, not only Mazen, but even Baymao and others were dumbfounded. Is such a direct provocation really good? The opponent's strength is definitely venerable. Human, do you know what you are doing? The blue veins on the devil's forehead violently, and his eyes were blushing. Qin Ming's words just didn't put him into put in one's eyes. How can he tolerate the weak ants who dare to be so presumptuous? I didn't hear you let you beat me, what are you doing in a daze, do it. Qin Ming seemed to feel a little dissatisfied because the other party did not do anything. Hu Qingqing and the others were all dumbfounded. 
if they didn't know what kind of person Qin Ming was like, they would think that Qin Ming was a crazy person at this time. Even the three newly joined employees are subconsciously far away from Qin Ming. Put on a look like don't look at me, I don't know him. After being provoked by Qin Ming twice in a row, the demon venerable couldn't bear it. His anger was raging, and his body was devilish. The terrifying pressure shook the entire great hall. In an instant, Mazen appeared in front of Qin Ming, and hit his heart with a fist. Boom, the terrifying power brought out a powerful wave, and instantly lifted Bei Mao and others into flight. Inside the great hall, there was even more smoke and dust. Have you not eaten? Okay. In the smoke and dust, Qin Ming's surprised voice came. The devil vomited blood, and a long sword appeared in his hand under the anger and anger, and the target was Qin Ming's throat. Before, Qin Ming stood in place and let the opponent do it. He just wanted to see how strong his own Jin Gang Divine Stone was. But after that punch really landed on Qin Ming, it was as soft as a cotton, and Qin Ming didn't feel it at all. Seeing Ma Zin using a weapon, Qin Ming is not stupid, if the opponent can really break the bodyguard, he will be pierced in his throat. At the moment, his figure flashed, but he put all his strength on his arm and smashed it directly at the long sword. Clang! The deafening sound of metal collision spread to everyone's ears, and the trembling eardrums hurt. The demon lord looked at Qin Ming as if he had seen a ghost, and his eyes almost came out. He stabbed a sword with all his strength, and he couldn't even break through the opponent's body defense. It was even more shocking that his arms were numb, and he couldn't hold the long sword a bit. At the same time, Qin Ming was overjoyed, his own bodyguard gas is really terrifying, it's all right. Asshole, who are you? The demon lord roared in horror, he didn't dare to fight anymore, so he couldn't even break the defenses of others, so he just slapped him. Standing and let him chop for a day, the other party did not die, he himself was exhausted first. It seems that your strength is not good. Qin Ming murmured, and then his figure instantly appeared in front of the demon lord, and slapped the opponent's face with a slap. Boom, demon Zun was like a cannonball smashing through the great hall wall and flying far away. Before he could react, Qin Ming waved his hand and the opponent was pulled back. Dage, Demon Zun's cheeks were swollen high, and he knelt on the ground and cried at Qin Ming. What the hell did I do wrong to make you tortured me like this? Before you bully me, can you give me an excuse? Can I make a mistake? At this time Ma Zin was a little skeptical of life. He practiced hard for 500 years, and he had survived the catastrophe of extinction before. As a result, today, an inexplicable person came. Inexplicably let himself hit him, but the two swords went down and the other party did not fart, but he was almost shot to death when the other party slapped him. At this moment, there are millions of MMPs in Mazen's heart that don't know whether to speak or not. Ahem, you're right, Qin Ming coughed dryly. By the way, can you tell people not? What's the meaning? Shake people, call someone to deal with me, hurry, don't ink. Mazen was completely stunned by Qin Ming's manipulation. He instinctively wanted to refuse, but looking at Qin Ming's posture, if he didn't do this, the consequences would definitely be miserable. At the moment, Mazen didn't even think about it, and directly crushed a jade metal. Thousands of miles away, in a huge city filled with demons, a man suddenly opened his eyes. His eyes are like an abyss, looking in one direction, as if he can see through the space and see everything. I saw the younger brother own kneeling in front of a young man with a miserable look on his face. Seeing this scene, the man almost dropped his jaw. When have humans been so strong? Exiled from the mainland, the human race is not very strong. The demons and demon races are in power, and the human race can barely survive, because humans have not been slaughtered for some special reasons. After all, the strength of the ascension of the demon race, the human soul is a very important source of strength. This also makes it impossible for human beings to have the birth of a strong, even if there is a talented existence, it will be instantly strangled in the cradle, and the possibility of survival is very slim. At this moment, watching his little brother kneeling in front of a human, he really frightened this guy. But at this moment, the young man suddenly raised his head, and a pair of blue eyes met him directly. In an instant, the man felt his heart stop for half a beat, and before he could react, he saw a big blue hand grabbing his neck. Of course he wanted to resist, but the resistance was ineffective. 
The man was caught in front of Qin Ming almost instantly. Puff, he was like his little brother, also kneeling in front of Qin Ming. The previous demon lord was also stunned to see this scene, looking at him Dage's eyes were full of shock. How did you come here, Dage? That's how I came here. Quote dot 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 quote. Qin Ming looked at the new man with interest. The opponent's strength was much stronger than the previous demon venerable, but only a lot. In his opinion, this guy is still not his opponent. You, call someone. The man pointed his finger at himself, full of question marks, what do you mean? You explain to him, Qin Ming said to the demon. A minute later, the new man looked at his little brother angrily. He was actually pitted. Hurry up, I have limited time, and there is less than an hour. Qin Ming said calmly. The man has nothing to do. He knows that the other party's methods are terrifying, and he can't be the opponent's opponent at all. But since he has been cheated, he can't make others cheaper. No matter what, the one that can be taken away is one. The spirit of dead fellow Taoist has developed to the fullest at this moment. He smashed three jade medals in an instant, even more cruel than his little brother. But for a minute, three dumbfounded figures appeared in the great hall, and they all knelt on the ground subconsciously, just like the two before. Why are they all this stuff? Big, your lord, we. Don't explain, keep calling people. Subsequently, the sound of broken jade cards continued to sound in the great hall, and at the same time, a group of bewildered figures appeared in the great hall. Who am I? Where am I? How did I come here? This is the doubt in the hearts of all the demon kings who have been arrested. At this time, in the great hall, there were at least 50 demon kings exuding a frightening atmosphere. Usually these guys in their own territory really say that wind is wind, and rain is rain. However, at this time, everyone was kneeling on the ground in a unified manner, for nothing else. If you didn't kneel, you would die. It was extremely humble. Qin Ming only felt very boring. He thought that there are still some strong players in this world, although he did meet a few guys with good strength, but now he is kneeling on the ground with a bruised nose and swollen face. He didn't even use his 30% strength. The great hall was full of demon lords kneeling on the ground, and these guys were trembling at this time, as pitiful as a lamb to be slaughtered. Big. Dot sir, I really can't call anyone. A demon lord said bitterly. Qin Ming waved his hand. That's it, that's it. Originally, he wanted to find a few more good employees to go back, but these guys didn't seem to be a good thing, which seriously affected the business in the store. Of course these people can't use it. And he has been here for some time since he came to the banished continent. Fortunately, it is not without gain. With the addition of three new employees, the expansion of the store can also be put on the agenda. Go, go home. Qin Ming swiftly moved the space, and the space shook, and a space crack appeared in front of everyone. He didn't even glance at the many demon kings kneeling on the ground, stepped into the crack and disappeared into this world. It wasn't until everyone left for a long time that the atmosphere in the Great Hall eased a lot. These demon lords are all sitting on the ground profusely, with heart palpitations like the rest of their lives. What kind of existence is this? The strength is simply terrifying. It must be the group of people who destroyed the world before returning. Ah, aren't we finished? It must be over, no need to think about it. A group of demon venerables were shocked, and they all hurriedly fled. Now they have to find a way to get out of here, otherwise they will continue to run into those guys, they are really dead. Besides, Qin Ming returned to the small courtyard, it was already 6 o'clock in the morning. Three new employees were recruited this time, the wild woman Yun Zixin, the cute boy Chao Shi, and the simple man Agu. These are just superficial images, but in fact, they are all demon kings who kill people without blinking and eat people without salt. But they think that compared with Qin Ming's many actions of own, they are nothing short of it. Is this comparable? Is it comparable? Just what Qin Ming did in the Great Hall before, is it still a human thing? At this time, the three of them were mostly afraid of Qin Ming and did not dare to disobey the slightest. Then things were much simpler. White-haired Huo Qingqing and others helped them understand the current situation, and then went to the hotel for internship. Days also tend to be dull. Qin Ming plans to not go away until the next mandatory check-in task is released. He will take the opportunity to develop some new dishes and plan the decoration of the new restaurant in the future. There are a lot of things. 
In the thousands of mountains around Mount Tai, a bunch of guardian expeditions are walking cautiously, a total of seven people, six senior god of war, a new emperor powerhouse. The seven of them are all dignified, but when there is wind and grass around them, their nerves will be strained. Recently, there have been more and more spiritual qi in heaven and earth, and it has become more and more refined. In all places in China, at least more than 30 emperor-level powerhouses have been born, but god of war-level powerhouses are not known how many. While adding a lot of high-level combat power to the Guardian Bureau, it is also full of crises. At this time, these seven people formally form an expedition team. According to the monitoring of satellites and many methods, the place has not been peaceful recently, and there are many monsters haunting it. Seven people walked slowly in the quiet dense forest. About one kilometer or so, it is a dangerous zone, where there are many monsters haunted. The purpose of their trip is to investigate the situation. At the same time, in the headquarters of the guarding bureau in the Mount Tai area, Wu Haishan and an elderly man were looking at the factual picture with solemn expression. Elder Zhang, do you think these monster races suddenly appear, do you have any purpose? While watching the screen, Wu Haishan asked the old man beside him. Zhang Haifeng is a recorded god-level powerhouse. In fact, there are not no god-level powerhouses in the world, but few people know it. These are the killers of each country, and they are life-saving cards. Regardless of the evil purpose, obviously they won't get along well with us. Zhang Haifeng looked solemnly, and I have noticed before that there is a god-level existence in the Mount Tai area. What? Wu Haishan was suddenly shocked. If this is the case, wouldn't it be a big trouble? It's okay, the old man is also a god level, if the opponent appears, I will definitely solve the opponent. Zhang Haifeng is very confident. He has entered the god realm for more than 30 years, and his strength is not too high. I hope so, Wu Haishan murmured in his heart, then looked at the screen again. Time passed by one minute and one second, and ten minutes later, the expedition team finally arrived at the predetermined location, where satellites and other instruments were no longer able to detect it, as if something could shield them. There is no other way but to send someone to investigate in depth. The seven-person team just arrived here, and suddenly felt a strong bloody atmosphere. After walking through a few bushes, they were all stunned by the scene before them. The ground is full of human corpses. These must be the recent missing persons near Mount Tai. There are hundreds of them. Headquarters, have you seen it? The leader of the emperor-level powerhouse trembles, and the headquarters is also excited, one by one clench their fists, wishing to kill those monsters. Be careful, retreat immediately if there is a problem. Wu Haishan almost gritted his teeth and shouted. The seven-person team also became nervous, and slowly explored the surroundings. In the follow-up, various human corpses and the corpses of beasts were often seen. The scene was extremely cruel. Just when they were about to continue their investigation, suddenly two figures appeared in front of the seven. Oh, a strong human being, dare to go deep into this place. The leader was a young man with a wicked smile on his face, and beside him, there was a woman with a bumpy figure. Both of them looked at the seven with a sneer. No, two high-level imperial-level powerhouses, you go quickly, I'll stop it. After being discovered, the imperial powerhouse leading the team roared immediately, trying to help his teammates gain some escape time. However, as soon as he finished saying this, his eyes widened. Because a hand has penetrated his chest from behind, people at the headquarters can even see a beating heart appearing in that hand from the perspective of his camera. A miserable howl, blood splattered scenes. In the end, the picture on the big screen in the headquarters stopped in front of a heart that stopped beating. Wu Haishan and others are dumbfounded. A squad of seven, one emperor, and six top god of war, all destroyed in less than ten seconds. At this moment, the screen moved again. An evil smile appeared in front of everyone. Tisk tusk tusk, human beings, don't continue to let people come and die. I thought about it carefully, everyone can also develop together. As long as you don't look for death, we won't mess around. Oh, yes, it doesn't matter if you agree or disagree. Maybe if we provoke us someday, this country will be slaughtered to death. Then the video screen was directly cut off. The headquarters was plunged into a dead silence, Wu Haishan clenched his hands, his forehead bursting with blue veins. Yaozu, intolerable, old Wu, hold back, you must hold back this kind of time, 
maybe we attacked in a big way and we were caught in their trap. At this time, Zhang Haifeng hurriedly said, I'll contact that old friend and let him come as soon as possible. So far Wu Haishan nodded. In the deep forest of Mount Tai, a man and a woman show enjoyment from the front. Just killed seven humans with a little bit of strength, and those delicious souls made people addicted and unable to extricate themselves. To tell the king that these humans are likely to make big moves after a while. This is a good opportunity. The woman said coldly. The iconic evil smile appeared on the man's face. Why don't you go? I want to go to the human world to play. The human civilization in this place is completely different from the banished continent, and the girls are more open. Do you dare to do things, I will kill you. The woman coldly said, seeing the murderous intent flashing under her eyes, the expression on the evil man's face was a little less. He dare not presumptuous. This woman is the king's confidant, and she is strong. It will be miserable if she offends the other party. A demon king who wanted to die a few days ago was the best end. All the flesh on his body was cut off in just a second, leaving only a pair of white bones. With a cold snort, the evil man disappeared, and then the figure of the woman left in the opposite direction. Donghai City, Xinling Hotel. It's in full swing. After the two-day running-in period, the three newly added employees had a fierce fight with the rest, especially Yun Zixin, who directly became Xiao Nianzu's big sister. Xiao Nianzu is very new to her, so she can almost jump her feet with rhubarb. He has been a dog for so long, and finally got his thighs, as if he was about to be snatched away. Rhubarb only feels full of crisis for a while, and when the dog sells cute more often. Nowadays, there are three chefs in the back kitchen of the restaurant, Huo Qingqing, Liang Yan, and Chao Shi, and it seems that a Ji Yu, who is always in charge, is responsible for preparing the dishes. The rest are all waiters at the door. Because the waiters often show up, Huo Shusho and Yun Zixin soon became the hotel's signature. These two guys are much more attractive than any discounted menu. Just stop at the door and no one will come. The shop's business is extremely prosperous, and its reputation has spread. Many people who are not Donghaicheng come here to check in. The location is really not enough. After the animal tide incident, Yang Qianqin and others came to the store a lot more frequently, at least on the face of it, it seemed that they had become mingled with Huo Qingqing and others. In fact, this is Uyang Yanyan's strategy. In a few days, the Mount Tai National Tournament will begin. In view of the crisis situation on Mount Tai, Uyang Yanyan's task of finding the hidden boss in Donghai City is imminent. The biggest doubter now is Huo Qingqing. At the same time, apart from Qin Ming and Chen Gui, this hotel is extremely powerful. Especially the few newly joined people, although they look like ordinary people, Uyang Yanyan knows that these are also the powerhouses of the demons and monsters. Obviously they were all ordered by Huo Qingqing. If these guys can be fooled past Mount Tai, maybe the situation will get a lot better. Uyang Yanyan has been rushing around for this place these days, but Qin Ming finally nodded her head and agreed. Anyway, if the hotel wants to be remodeled, it is a vacation to go to Mount Tai to play. As for the clock and tasks released by the system, we will talk about it at that time. It is worth mentioning that there is another regular customer in the store, Chu Jingyao. Since the delivery of the title deed, this product has come to the store almost once a day. Since then, it has contributed tens of hundreds of credit points, and the shots are quite generous. Even Niu Junda, who has been here twice a day since his opening, has not contributed as much to his performance as Chu Jingyao in two days. So Qin Ming secretly decided to treat Chu Jingyao as a distinguished guest. This guy's family strength is also good. Although the selection in the Guardian Academy failed and could not fight on behalf of the Academy, he was able to represent the family and had a place in the tournament. It happened that he knew that Qin Ming was going to Mount Tai by then, and directly indicated that he could take it with him. Chu Jingyao is all inclusive along the way. With such good things, how could Qin Ming refuse, especially Xiao Nianzu, although she still doesn't like this product, but she is not so repulsive. There are cheap fools. Since the pressure in the store has become much less, Huo Qingqing has discovered a new world. Originally, she was not interested in optical brain, but the previous live broadcast made her a little curious, and then she became obsessed with optical brain and couldn't help herself. At the beginning of the day mother, chasing TV dramas at night, the little days are happy. 
Not only that, she was also obsessed with shopping, and dragged a few women in the store to go shopping together, which directly caused a few women to complain about insufficient wages on Qin Ming's side every day. Qin Ming was in a state of ignoring this, thinking about a salary increase just as soon as he went to work, dreaming about it. The ordinary days slowly passed, and this night, Qin Ming's mind came to the beautiful voice of the system. Check-in task is released, check-in location, the top of Mount Tai. The host needs to go to the top of Mount Tai to check in and sign in, and the reward will be awakened to the Holy Guardian Spirit. Han Tian Gong Gong. For a while, Qin Ming was a little dumbfounded. Saint class, happily working together. It's so special to awaken yourself a big boss. After interrogating the system, it was discovered that the Holy Exalted level is a higher level of existence than the Venerable level. And the system said that this is the only opportunity for the system version 2.0 to awaken the saint class guardian spirit, and I hope Qin Ming will take it well. In response to this, Qin Ming said that his smile was gradually perverted. It just so happens that tomorrow is the day to go to Mount Tai. Thinking of this, he couldn't help but feel a little excited and couldn't sleep. He kept pacing in the yard, making rhubarb too sleepy. Ha, huh, this little peach tree has grown up. Qin Ming suddenly discovered that the small peach trees around the god of chaos tree had grown a lot taller, with denser branches and leaves. It seemed that they would mature in a while. At this time, Qin Ming was taken aback for a moment, and a terrifying thought emerged in his mind. Isn't this a flat peach? The more he thinks this way, Qin Ming thinks that this is more possible. According to the current system, what has been shown is basically related to the mythological system of the previous life, and now even Hengtian Gonggong Gong has appeared. Moreover, the awakened guardian spirits only exist in fairy tales. In this era, no one knows what it is. According to the current urine performance of the system, it is very likely that the ten little peach trees in front of you are flat peaches. Flat peach. According to rumors, every three thousand years will bloom once every three thousand years will bear fruit. Especially this flat peach is now being planted in the soil of nine heavens. I think the Queen Mother and the Empress did not receive this treatment. God knows how the flat peach will finally be effective. And looking at it now, it seems, how long will it take to mature? Thinking of this, Qin Ming felt his head buzzing. According to the legend, flat peaches are the best for longevity. Three thousand lifespans are eaten. If this is true, and it is still a flat peach planted in the soil of nine heavens, God knows what the effect will be. The more I looked at the peach tree, the light in Qin Ming's eyes became stronger. The rhubarb lying under the tree clamped its tail, and his body was clever for no reason. He always felt that the light in this big man's eyes was a bit strange. After watching for a while, Qin Ming shook his head and happily thought. Even if this is a flat peach, it needs to be mature before it can be eaten, and it takes too long for the flat peach to mature, and Qin Ming doesn't know if he can see the flat peach blossom before he is dying. No way, I've been daydreaming a lot recently, and I'm on my head. Qin Ming rubbed his eyes, turned and walked into the room. No words for a night. The sky gradually lit up, and Qin got up early in the morning, when Huo Qingqing and others had already begun to organize things in the hotel. Today is the day to organize a group to go to Mount Tai. Not only because of the Xiaonian Zoo competition, but also not only because of Uyang Yanyan's previous invitations in all kinds of tongues, but more importantly, Qin Ming intends to give employees a paid tour. Group activities are the best way to promote relationship growth. Qin Ming could even see the scene of the big guys loving each other after returning from Mount Tai. Well, it must be pretty good. It didn't take long for the construction team to come. The land deeds of the two shops nearby were already in Qin Ming's hands. He could directly open up all three shops and renovate them. Not only that, but it can also go up. According to the logic, this is impossible, but Uyang Yanyan directly granted permission to allow Qin Ming's hotel to be under the fourth floor. In other words, it can develop three more layers. Although Qin Ming wanted to do the same, and he believed that even if his restaurant was opened on the fourth floor, there would be a steady stream of people coming. But the problem is that he doesn't have so many people to entertain. What can be foreseen is the daily desperate figure of the three workers in the back kitchen, which should be the most beautiful picture. The hotel's renovation is in full swing, and the talented Chu Jingyao has arrived. Not only did he come, 
He also asked the butler to drive a look on his face and he knew that it was a very luxurious bus. When the car door opened, Chu Jingyao had Niu Junda's vigor. Mr. Chin, come with us, everything in the car is ready. Chin Ming looked at Chu Jingyao in silence for a long time. Big dog, evil credit point. But I have to say that the interior of the car is very luxurious, the space is large, and there are all kinds of entertainment facilities, so it's almost impossible to install a swimming pool inside. Sitting on the comfortable custom-made seat, Chin Ming squinted his eyes slightly, enjoying the rare vacation time. Bei Mao, Agu, and Chao Xi all sat quietly on the side, but a few women were restless, playing various virtual games in the bus. As a result, Xiao Nianzu and Huo Qingqing both looked at Qin Ming with expectant eyes. They also wanted to install such a game console at home. Chu Jingyao, who is good at slanderous views, spotted the problem at a glance. Directly said that he has packaged it. Qin Ming shook his head and ignored it, and took a nap quietly. Although it is the era of spiritual cheese recovery, fierce beasts and evil spirits are rampant, but some major traffic roads are unblocked. This area of local guarding bureaus has been fiercely slaughtered for hundreds of years, and there is no fierce beast. The evil spirit approaches. The journey was very stable. After five hours, we arrived at Mount Tai. Chu Jingyao deserves to be a Kuo young master. He has arranged everything in order. Judin is the top seven-star hotel, so extravagant to explode. Qin Ming understood it a little bit, and then he kept talking. They lived in three presidential suites, and the consumption of one room in one night was 180,000 credits. 180,000. Since Qin Ming's business was overwhelming in the hotel, he thought he was inferior to the ranks of the rich, but now that he compares it, he is just a shit. Could not help but curse the big dog in my heart again. Chu Jingyao and Bei Mao have a room for men, Huo Qingqing and other women have a room, and Qin Ming, Xiao Nianzu and Su Qingyuan have a separate suite. No matter what, Qin Ming only rest assured that Xiao Nianzu will follow him. Arrived at the hotel to settle down, after putting down their things, Xiao Nianzu and Su Qingyuan went to the competition venue to gather and register. A group of people came to the competition venue in a mighty manner. The preparations were already started one month in advance. The huge competition venue is large enough to hold a hundred thousand people. In the magnificent martial arts arena, people from various schools and family forces mixed together. After finding the team from Tunghai University, Qin Ming allowed Xiao Nianzu to be in it, and at the same time let Bei Mao protect him in secret and contact him whenever he had any questions. Next, he is going to the top of Mount Tai. The task of signing in and clocking in, Qin Ming will never forget, it is the guardian spirit of awakening Kantian Gong Gong. It's even a holy class. According to the system's prompts, at least the system version 3.0 is required to awaken the saintly guardian spirit. This time it is a special situation. After experiencing the venerable level guardian spirit of Xuanyuan's sword, Qin Ming looked forward very much to what kind of strength the sovereign level would be. Huo Qingqing and others went shopping by themselves, and Qin Ming slowly walked towards Mount Tai alone. It was already in the afternoon, and the city near Mount Tai was crowded with people. Qin Ming walked towards Mount Tai while enjoying the scenery. Not far in front of Qin Ming, a woman was looking at this city street with a bewildered face. Yi Ting has lost her way. As an emperor-level demon, she is actually a road silly. Why are the human cities here so intricate? Yi Ting gritted her teeth. She was lost for at least three or four hours here, and she couldn't find a street spot. She was so angry that she wanted to slap this place to pieces. Ha, huh, hold back, not to be exposed. Find someone for directions. Yi Ting said to herself in her heart, and then looked around, and saw a young man walking towards him lazily. Hello, gentlemen, I would like to ask, how to get to Hongtai Hotel? Qin Ming stared at Yi Ting in a dazed expression, a suspicion flashed across his eyes. He pointed his finger at himself, and at the same time turned around to look around. Are you talking to me? It's not that Qin Ming's brain has a problem, but that this situation is too surprising. Even if Yi Ting condensed his demon aura with all his strength, it was useless in front of Qin Ming, he could still easily discover the identity of the other party. This made Qin Ming a little puzzled. Are the current demons so arrogant, appearing in human cities casually, and still pulling the human race to ask for directions? For a while, 
Qin Ming wanted to know what medicine was sold in Calabash. Yi Ting didn't expect that he would grab a mentally retarded youth, and he stopped in front of him, okay. Hello, it's not long since I got here, do you know the location of Hongtai Hotel? Qin Ming shook his head. Of course he didn't know, by the way, do you know how Mount Tai goes? Yi Ting, are you going to Mount Tai? Yi Ting looked at Qin Ming in amazement. Although Mount Tai was an excellent scenic spot before, since the revival of spiritual qi, there have been so many fierce beasts and evil spirits around Mount Tai that no one dares to go there to enjoy the scenery. When Qin Ming said this, Yi Ting thought that the other party was a guardian who went to Mount Tai to explore the way. There are a lot of human experts who have been exploring around Mount Tai recently, and Yi Ting doesn't know how many of them have been killed. Yes, do you want to take a look at the scenery at Mount Tai? Qin Ming laughed. Yi Ting frowned. If I remember correctly, I'm here to ask for directions, right? Why did you ask the other party to invite you to Mount Tai? Qin Ming's behavior made Yi Ting feel very strange, subconsciously thinking that he is a strong human being. Thinking of this, Yi Ting narrowed his eyes slightly. The souls of the strong human beings are delicious, and the strong human beings exiled from the continent have long been killed. She hasn't tasted the taste of such a soul for a long time. And Yi Ting is very confident about Own's hidden strength, she believes that it is absolutely impossible for Qin Ming to see her identity as a demon king. It's just the other party's IQ, there may be a little problem. It just happens that I know how to get to Mount Tai. Why don't I take it to Mount Tai first, and then you will take me to Hong Tai Hotel? Yi Ting looked at Qin Ming and smiled. Qin Ming smiled and nodded, thinking about something in his heart. Is this guy suitable to be a waiter? The two walked towards Mount Tai, both with their own thoughts. Compared with Qin Ming's seemingly simple idea, Yi Ting's mood seemed very complicated. The closer you get to Mount Tai, the more intense the devilish energy infested by the demon lord around you, and ordinary people simply can't bear such a breath. However, Qin Ming seemed to be okay. This definitely proves that Qin Ming is a strong man sent by the human race, but no matter what method Yi Ting uses, he can't find the slightest spirit power fluctuation from Qin Ming. In this way, Yi Ting had a bad idea because he didn't understand. But no matter how you look at it, this guy is an ordinary person, and you can't see any clues. Yi Ting thinks that he doesn't need to be afraid of the other party. Along the way, the scenery became a lot more beautiful after leaving the city. The lush greenery is dotted with the vitality of nature, because human activities are gradually decreasing, this place seems a bit chaotic. However, such an environment is indeed refreshing. After walking for more than an hour, the two of them have arrived at the feet of Mount Tai. During this period, Qin Ming asked a few simple questions and found that Yi Ting, the demon king, is very suitable to be a waiter. She has this talent. Ever since, when the two of them walked towards the top of Mount Tai, Qin Ming smiled lightly. Yi Ting, do you currently have a job? In order to dive into the human society, Yi Ting had been prepared for this, and shook his head to show that he was currently unemployed. To be honest, I opened a small restaurant, and the business is very good at the moment, but there are not enough staff. You can consider trying it. Yi Ting didn't care about this, just nodded perfunctorily. In her mind, she was still thinking more about what Qin Ming did when he came to Mount Tai. This acupuncture was like a tourist on the way, relaxed and natural. Yi Ting even really thought so, but he quickly realized that this guy's acting skills are so good that he is constantly misleading himself. In Yi Ting's eyes, Qin Ming is a human being. He came to Mount Tai alone with a clear purpose. Before knowing this purpose, she would not do it easily, and at the same time always beware of any troubles that might occur. Walking towards the top of Mount Tai, many demons and monsters appeared around, but they were all sent away by Yi Ting. This is a good opportunity to spy on humanity. In the mountains surrounding Mount Tai, in a huge cave like a maze, the young man is sitting bored on the throne with a lazy face. Wang, we just saw Miss Yi Ting take a human to Mount Tai. A very casual looking demon king crawled in front of the young man. Oh, you blocked it, I blocked it, but Miss Yi Ting doesn't care at all, Wang, now the seal and space passage on Mount Tai are at the most important time. She did this. The words behind the demon king didn't say anything, he just glanced at the young man on the throne. 
The young man's expression was still lazy, as if the seal and spatial passage were not important to him. It's okay, I believe her, there will be no surprises. The young man said indifferently, and then he looked at the demon king. Suddenly, an icy breath filled the cave. In just a moment of effort, the demon king who said that Yi Ting was not was directly frozen into an ice sculpture. The young man waved his hand and the ice sculpture shattered. Demon king, those who die can't die again. All the demon kings in the cave were terrified and shook their heads. It's not good to say anything indiscriminately, and dare to say that Yi Ting is not in front of the king. Don't you know that Yi Ting is the most trusted subordinate of the king, there is no one. This act of death did not cause any waves, but everyone was wondering why Yi Ting brought humans to the top of Mount Tai. There are there very important secrets. In fact, Yi Ting certainly knows that there are secrets, but in her opinion, it is easy to clean up a Qin Ming, and there is no need to worry. She just wanted to know Qin Ming's purpose here. However, the chat between the two is always a mode. What are you doing in Mount Tai? Play, or maybe it is. Are you interested in coming to work in my shop? No, two guys who couldn't talk together, they walked halfway to Mount Tai. At this time, Qin Ming's mind rang the beautiful voice of the system. Congratulations to the host for completing the check-in and sign-in. Awakening the guardian spirit of the holy superiors, work together. A power that made Qin Ming feel terrified instantly broke out in his body, and at the same time, a void was born in the guardian spirit space. In the void, a middle-aged man who looked very sloppy was sitting in lotus position. Let's work together. And Qin Ming didn't have extra time to check this, he was desperately suppressing the power of the saint class guardian spirit. The holy class is simply too powerful. At G at asterisk at percent carat. Now Qin Ming has awakened several gods, one venerable, and as a result, the power brought by these guardian spirits is not as powerful as that of the saints. For a time Qin Ming only felt that he was unprecedentedly strong. Of course, all this happened in an instant, and it didn't alarm anyone, even Yi Ting who was walking beside him didn't feel anything. After completing the task of signing in and clocking in, Qin Ming felt that a big rock in his heart had finally fallen. After trying the terrifying power brought by the Holy Guardian Spirit, he was extremely expectant for this first level other Guardian Spirit. At the same time, the two are about to reach the top of Mount Tai. Obviously Yi Ting had no patience to continue to dangle with Qin Ming, and then continue to go up, the secrets belonging to them on Mount Tai will be exposed. At this time, she also discovered that Qin Ming might be here to check the situation on Mount Tai. Just as Yi Ting narrowed his eyes to consider whether to kill Qin Ming directly, Qin Ming continued to walk towards the top of the mountain. The speed is very fast, as if something has been discovered. Suddenly Yi Ting shook his heart and rushed forward, but it was already too late. Click, it sounded like glass shattering, and then a blue halo burst out from the top of Mount Tai. The aperture was like a shock wave, rapidly expanding outward, and the blink of an eye had already dissipated. Yi Ting's eyes stared like bull's eyes, staring at a figure standing on the top of Mount Tai in disbelief. How did he get there? How did he do it? Yi Ting was shocked. Just before Qin Ming was still in front of him, how could he appear on the mountain without even blinking an eye? Forget it, he actually destroyed all the seals and space channels that these demons and monsters had prepared for more than 30 years. At that moment Yi Ting only felt that he had caused a disaster. On the summit of Mount Tai, Qin Ming had an unexpected smile on his face. He didn't expect that he would be able to trigger an event mission when he came here. Congratulations to the host for triggering the event task, clearing the seal and space channel on the top of Mount Tai. Complete the task and reward a system upgrade opportunity. Qin Ming was quite excited about this, he knew that only after the system was upgraded could he get a stronger guardian spirit. For example, the current saint class guardian spirit, the previous system gave himself a chance to awaken, otherwise, it can only upgrade the system. Now that it is System 2.0, it has been able to awaken the Venerable Level Guardian Spirit. If it is another level of ascension, I am afraid that it will not be able to awaken a holy level existence casually. Thinking of this, Qin Ming had a heartbeat. Regarding the newly awakened Saint Class Guardian Spirit, he could already feel the strength of his power. If two Guardian Spirits of the same level are awakened again, the increase in strength is probably terrifying. 
Now that the so-called seal and the space channel are broken at will, Qinming has already obtained the opportunity to upgrade the system. The system is also awesome, and the upgrade starts without saying a word. The estimated upgrade time is two days. After seeing the upgrade status of the system, Qinming felt excited again. He wanted to see what surprises there would be after the system was successfully upgraded. At the same time, Qinming also began to look at the top of Mount Tai. Sometimes the system was still very powerful. If it hadn't been for the system to say that there were tasks here, he would not come up, and he would not be able to find the seal and space passages here. Judging from the recent experience, the space channel is estimated to be to bring in people who are exiled from the mainland. As for this seal, shouldn't a reasonable seal seal something to the town? Could it be that there is something terrifying sealed in Mount Tai? And when Qin Ming was puzzled, an extremely pure purple spiritual qi radiated from the top of Mount Tai. Floating in the air, Qin Ming suddenly felt the concentration of spiritual qi around him exponentially increase. However, although the concentration of spiritual qi here is very high, it still cannot be compared with the own small courtyard. After all, there is a chaos tree there. On the other side, Yi Ting, who had been standing halfway up the mountain, was completely dumbfounded. With a puff, she knelt down on the ground, her face expressionless, her eyes hollow. It's over, it's all over now, Yi Ting murmured. It took them more than 30 years to seal these beautiful spiritual qi, and the purpose was also very clear, that is, after waiting for the opening of the space channel, people from the mainland can use this purple spiritual qi to speed up the recovery of strength. This is their 30 years of hard work. Just because this fellow Qin Ming was ruined. This scene all fell in the eyes of the demons and demons who were hiding in the surroundings, and they were equally dumbfounded. Suddenly this group of people look at me and I see you, but they don't know what to do when they come down. Who is going to tell Wang about such a big thing? Let alone Wang Hui's murder because of what they said about Yi Ting, after the news was confirmed, Wang could not bear his anger. It is conceivable that the death of the person who delivered the news for the first time must be extremely miserable. All of a sudden, a group of demon kings and demon kings began to gather together to discuss who should go. On the other side, on the top of Mount Tai, Qin Ming was in a good mood after seeing the beautiful scenery around him. Unexpectedly, there will be a windfall this time. Well, it looks like I should come out more in the future. Qin Ming murmured, how about going to organize a team building activity for all employees every month in the future? When he was thinking about it, he had already turned and walked down the mountain and saw Yi Ting who was already numb. What's wrong with you? Qin Ming asked in surprise. The corners of Yi Ting's mouth twitched, and she looked at Qin Ming with scarlet eyes, wishing to lift this slap to death now. It can be said that Qin Ming was able to reach the top of Mount Tai unharmed, and it was Yi Ting who gave a huge assist. If Wang is held accountable, even if she is the most trusted subordinate, there is no room for negotiation. Then Yi Ting gave up. What if she kills Qin Ming now, can she extinguish the king's anger? Simply, continue to sneak into the human society to collect some beneficial news, and then maybe it will be able to make up for it. Thinking of this, Yi Ting's grief and anger eased slightly. Nothing, what happened just now is too scary, why don't we go quickly? Yi Ting hurriedly got up and said. Qin Ming nodded, but he wanted to laugh a little. Does this woman really treat herself as a fool? Originally, Qin Ming still wanted to let the goods go to work in the store to help, but after the incident at the top of Mount Tai, he wanted to continue teasing this guy, maybe he could get some useful news. I have been nesting in Donghai City for some time recently, which is really boring. Come out now, just in time to have fun. After that, the two quickly walked down the mountain. When they came down the mountain, Yi Ting turned his head three times, with a frightened expression on his face, as if there was some wild beast chasing after him. In the surrounding dense forest, more than a dozen people who were discussing who would deliver the news were all staring at Yi Ting's back. Hey, what's the situation? Master Yi Ting took someone up the mountain to destroy the seal, and then left. Master Yi Ting surrendered, suddenly all kinds of speculations flew wildly, and everyone was shocked. No matter what happened, they saw everything in their eyes. It was obvious that Yi Ting had gone to the enemy. Finally, who is going to tell this news? A brawny man said with a dazed face. Hey, daddy wants to live a few more years, and I want to go to you. I'm not going, 
don't you understand that you are looking for death? In my opinion, we might as well just run away. Now we can still have a chance to escape. If we continue to keep it, it will definitely be dead, and everyone will die together. Yes, this is a good idea, walk around, it's settled, is anyone with me? Just do it. After a dozen demon kings and demon kings have discussed it, they really set off directly and left Mount Tai, a place of right and wrong. If the king were to know that Qin Ming only went to Mount Tai, it would have caused him a heavy loss, and he was afraid that he would not be mad. After leaving Mount Tai, Yi Ting was finally relieved. She had been worried about the demon kings around her all the way to inform. At that time, she didn't even have a chance to explain, the matter was too serious. Qin Ming turned on the light brain calmly and found the location of Hongtai Hotel. After all, they are the great young people of the 21st century, and they must do what they say. Since you have promised to lead the way to Hongtai Hotel, then you have to go. Yi Ting was in a dazed state along the way. Her mind was full of what happened on the top of Mount Tai, and her whole person looked muddled. She didn't wake up a lot until she arrived at Hongtai Hotel. Now, I brought you the place, don't thank me. Qin Ming said calmly, and then waved his hand to leave, as if doing good deeds without leaving a name. And many more, Yi Ting suddenly shouted. Then you told me to go to your store to do things, can I? At this moment, she looked at Qin Ming with complicated eyes. After recovering from her previous state of mind, Yi Ting clearly realized that Qin Ming must be a hidden boss. The strength of the seals and spatial passages on Mount Tai's summit is beyond ordinary people's imagination, especially since they have been strengthening them for 30 years. It can be said that even their king could not easily break the space channel. In the end, Qin Ming just took a look, and his 30 years of lying salary was in vain. Knowing this, Yi Ting summoned his courage and decided to go undercover with Qin Ming. That's right, being an undercover agent. In Yi Ting's opinion, as a powerful boss, Qin Ming's status in the human race must be quite high, and it is this kind of person who is most important. Following Qin Ming, she will definitely know more news, and passing the news to the king at that time will definitely make up for it. With such thoughts in mind, Yi Ting resolutely decided to follow Qin Ming. And Qin Ming is also happy. He naturally opens the door to accept the free labor that he finds, ah, ah, high-quality employees. It's still the same sentence, there is no fool by the cheap. Are you serious? Qin Ming said with a smile. Yi Ting nodded vigorously, the matter was over, she had no choice. Either it's just trying to make up for it, or it's just death. She definitely didn't want to die, so she decided to follow Qin Ming. If Yi Ting knows what will happen next, she will definitely choose to die vigorously. At this time, a piece of parchment appeared in Qin Ming's hand. I don't know why, looking at the parchment in his hand, Yi Ting's heart palpitates, as if it was something terrifying. But thinking about the consequences of death, she gritted her teeth and signed it. The moment the handprint was pressed, an invisible soul yoke instantly wrapped her fragile soul. However, the touch is relatively subtle, and Yi Ting's emotions changed a lot at this time, and he didn't feel this. It just so happens that our employees are now here to build a group tour, you can follow along, I am still a more enlightened boss. Qin Ming smiled faintly, and then took Yi Ting to buy a light brain, and gave the other party a thousand credits. A series of operations made Yi Ting a little dumbfounded. She didn't expect that she could gain Qin Ming's trust so easily. By the way, I will be called the boss in the future. Let's go and take you to meet other employees. I believe you will get along well. Qin Ming laughed, not to mention how happy he was. In this way, the manpower in the shop is absolutely sufficient. After all, they are all the Demon King and Demon King. Yi Ting followed Qin Ming back to the Seven Star Hotel in a nervous heart. The women have all gone shopping, and only Agu and Chao Shi stay in the hotel. Bei Mao is still protecting Xiao Nianzu in secret, and their registration is not over yet. After a brief introduction of herself, Yi Ting was shocked to discover one thing. It seems that Qin Ming's wage earners are all demon kings and demon kings. Especially Chao Shi and Agu's strengths are almost equal to her own. For a while, a bad feeling arose in my heart. After arriving at the hotel, Qin Ming ran to the venue, leaving Yi Ting alone in the hotel. Standing in front of the big French window, 
Yi Ting kept thinking about his current situation, and at the same time, he was secretly looking at the other two. Chao Shi is just like a silly boy, holding Guanganao on the sofa and watching anime. In contrast, a Ji Yu is a bit more normal, quietly flipping through a book, and if Yi Ting knows that a Ji Yu is simply passing the time, he doesn't know what he thinks. In short, in Yi Ting's opinion, his current situation is not so good, but he doesn't have to die after all. What she cares about now is how she can obtain useful information and pass it on. And inside a cave in Mount Tai, an earth-shattering roar came. Traitor, the young man didn't have the slightest lazy posture at this time. If Yi Ting is in front of him now, he can guarantee that Yi Ting will turn into a mess. At this time, the young man was trembling with righteousness, and his whole body was full of tyrannical aura. Looking carefully inside the cave, there are at least a hundred demon kings with emperor-level strength. At this time, all of them are full of atmosphere and dare not pant, and they are all in cold sweat. They are all dominating the East Sea City, but now facing the king, their hearts are full of fear. Once the king gets angry, the consequences are quite serious. In fact, the reason the young man was really angry was not because the 30-year-old plan was destroyed. What's more, more than a dozen demon kings and demon kings actually rebelled and fled. This makes him doubt the own dominance ability. My king, do you seem to get along well? The young man's voice was gloomy and cold, and no one around dared to say anything. This king asks you something. With a loud explosion, those demon kings and demon kings were shocked. Seeing that there was still no response, the young man's breath became violent, and with a quick grab, the bodies of more than a dozen demon kings exploded directly. Suddenly everyone knelt to the ground. Wong, calm down. It's all the humans. I suggest directly launching the beast tide and flattening all the human cities within a radius of 500 miles. Especially the humans who broke the seal, I am willing to kill them and avenge the king. Various voices came, and watching the trembling demon king and demon king on the ground, the young man's mood was quite calm for a while. In this view, own management capabilities are still possible. Everything was caused by the human being who undermined his plan, not only disrupting his 30-year plan, but also kidnapping his most proud subordinates. Absolutely can't tolerate it. You just said you were going to kill that guy, right? The young man was full of gloom. Go, bring his head and Yi Ting back to me. Remember not to cause riots. After that is the day when the plan is implemented. If the plan fails because of your willingness, you don't need to say that you know the consequences. The man who had previously stated that he would kill Qin Ming hurriedly knelt down on one knee and said with his head down. King, please rest assured, it's just a mere human being. Killing is a matter of effort. Afterwards, the man disappeared directly in front of everyone. Obviously go down the mountain to kill. At around 7 o'clock in the evening, the registration process at the venue finally ended. After all, there are scattered about 20,000 contestants, and the registration process is still relatively slow. Xiao Nianzu looked very excited, she saw the big scene today. Those superb universities and everyone's children are extremely powerful, and their overall quality is much better than that of Tunghai University. Nianzu girl did not feel inferior due to this, on the contrary, she rushed into it. She has long been looking forward to fighting against people of different levels, and the feeling of fisting to the flesh is really exciting. At the end of the registration, Tunghai University said that the students were free to move around, and the crowd dispersed in an instant. Xiao Nianzu rushed up to Qin Ming, showing off her entry card to Qin Ming. Old Qin's family finally turned over to take charge, and a phoenix Nianzu came out. This time we need to cheer. Qin Ming was naturally happy for Xiao Nianzu. Being able to participate in this kind of national competition is a rare opportunity for growth. Brother, don't worry, I will do my best this time. Xiao Nianzu said with a smile, and then clutched her belly, let's go eat quickly, we are all starving to death. Well, well, I will introduce you a new employee by the way during dinner. Qin Ming smiled. For dinner in the evening, it was naturally all-inclusive for Chu Jingyao, a big dog family, and the dining venue was a very high-end western restaurant. Just looking at the steaks on the menu with tens of thousands of credits, Qin Ming knew that he was really far away from the rich. Thinking of this, he increasingly looked forward to the business after the hotel was renovated. Before long, 
several women who were out shopping came to the entrance of the restaurant with large bags, but they were stopped. Because rhubarb is also with them. Sorry lady, pets can't enter the shop. The welcome guest at the door smiled awkwardly. Rhubarb, who was trying to eat a big meal all day, was taken aback, almost uttering words and directly began a friendly quality exchange. Fortunately, Chu Jingyao was always observing this side, seeing something happen, and hurriedly stepped forward to negotiate. At the same time, Chao Shi and others also came to the entrance of the restaurant. When Huo Qingqing and the others saw Yi Ting, they all stepped forward with enthusiasm. Needless to say, they all knew that the poor woman was abducted by the boss again. And Yi Ting was completely dumbfounded at this time. Only then did she discover that the strength of Huo Qingqing and the others was terrifying, and the aura that a person showed was several times stronger than her king. How is this possible? Why are all demons coming from space channels? Why are you so powerful? Yi Ting screamed in grief and anger. Before, she still felt that she was a lucky thing to follow Wang Hun, but now it seems that she is not even a fart. Seeing Yi Ting's dumbfounded expression, Huo Qingqing expressed deep feelings. Little sister don't worry, as long as you follow the boss to do things well, the benefits are beyond your imagination. Huo Qingqing hooked Yi Ting's neck and smiled. Huo Xuxiu also mixed up and said, you can't even think about the boss's ability. It is absolutely no problem to follow the boss. Yi Ting nodded blankly, already shocked by such a powerful and terrifying lineup, and didn't know what to say. She had a hunch that her choice at that time seemed to be a great mistake. At the same time she also decided that she must inform Wang of the information here. In Yi Ting's view, it is absolutely impossible for these demon kings and demon kings to follow Qin Ming as a human being sincerely. Obviously, they all have their own purpose. Even she felt that Qin Ming probably didn't know that these employees were not humans. If the king can cooperate with these people, relying on such a powerful strength, it will be easy to directly sweep the human beings. During the whole meal, Yi Ting never cut off this idea in her mind. Returning to the hotel at night, Yi Ting was assigned to Huo Qingqing suite. The hotel suite was very large, with five or six rooms, more than enough for a few women to sleep. Huo Qingqing began to brainwash the new employees again, telling some basic precautions. After the end, Huo Qingqing and several women gathered together to discuss which cosmetics is good. No one noticed that Yi Ting was standing at the window at this time, looking stunned. Because Yi Ting felt a familiar breath, just below the hotel building. Opportunity is here, we must pass on the news here. Yi Ting said inwardly, and found an excuse to walk out of the suite. In the suite, Huo Qingqing and others suddenly stopped discussing, all squinting their eyes. Chapter 121 Does this woman have a problem? The courageous and humblest Liangyan is weak and weak. Huo Qingqing sneered, there must be a problem. I want to get information on the adult's side, so I'm looking for death. With the help of Qin Ming, her strength had already reached the level of the gods, and she could easily detect Yi Ting's purpose with her spirit. But doesn't the boss always ask employees to sign contracts? Yun Zixin raised her eyebrows. Although she joined for a short period of time, she also knew that to become an employee, the first step must be to sign a contract. With the contract and the bondage, who dares to have different intentions? Huh, it's just a self-righteous guy, sisters, how do you say, let her take a lesson. Huo Qingqing snorted coldly. After this period of time, she had long been Qin Ming's ultimate dog licking, and she put her own position in the right position, and she also developed a sense of mission. Anyone who is unfavorable to the boss or disturbs the boss is her enemy. Right now Yi Ting has been targeted by Huo Qingqing. At this time, Yi Ting's figure appeared in an empty garden below the hotel building. As soon as she appeared, a man walked out of the darkness. Yiting, you really failed the king's cultivation of you. The man snorted coldly, his eyes full of envy and hatred when he looked at Yi Ting. As a result, you betrayed the king, but the king didn't let me kill you, but wanted me to take you back. Yiting, I have to say, I envy you very much. Yi Ting frowned when she saw the visitor. Injustice, what are you talking nonsense, how could I be sentenced to the king? Ha, huh, you can't treat everyone as a fool. The injustice hummed coldly, with a grim expression, if it weren't for you to fit in and out, 
then how can human beings go to the top of Mount Tai without a problem, it is absolutely impossible to destroy the king's plan. Not only that, because of you, there are more than a dozen trash defections. The king is already furious, Yi Ting, now there is only one chance before you, kill the human being, take his head, and go back to see the king. If not, I won't be polite to you. After all, Yi Ting was the celebrity in front of Wang. Even if he rebelled, Wang's attitude towards Yi Ting was unclear, and he did not dare to act on Yi Ting. Of course, if the other party does not listen after the warning, it is another matter. Although this woman is a celebrity in front of the king, her strength is not the strongest, much better than her. Hearing this, Yi Ting frowned and his eyes were full of anger. Has she ever defected? Presumptuous, I'm just lurking next to this human being. This human being is not low in status and can get a lot of useful information. Hee <laughs> hee, you treat me as a fool, right? Yu Anyun sneered. With a cold face, Yi Ting explained the situation of the horses next to Qin Ming, and said that she could temporarily contact those powerful demon kings to pave the way for future cooperation. What he said was all the same, and for a while he was dumbfounded by the injustice. Is there such an operation? Infernal affairs is not so exciting, right? Really, Yu Anyun raised his eyebrows. After all, this one has already involved the king's plan, if it can really unite those terrifying demon kings and demon kings, there will be a lot of benefits. At least the plan will be implemented perfectly. Of course, I can lie to you, and now go back and tell Wang the news. Yi Ting said calmly. But at this moment, crisp applause came. Coco, Yi Ting, thank you for letting us know your plan. Huo Qingqing is wearing a black robe and holding a huge sickle in his hand. Although he is smiling, it gives people a hideous and terrifying feeling. She did not reveal her own breath, but looking at the aura, she knew that this woman was difficult to deal with. In the face of Huo Qingqing who suddenly appeared, Yi Ting was dumbfounded. Grief's eyes widened, and he looked at Yi Ting in disbelief, and then his face was full of anger. Well, Yu Yi Ting, I still believe that you have no problem. I didn't expect you to betray and turn to the enemy. I do not have. Yi Ting hurriedly explained, and at the same time looking at Huo Qingqing's expression was unbelievable. She was only discovered when she started undercover. HMPH, you can't be blind for me. The soul snorted coldly, and at the same time his figure kept retreating, he knew that Huo Qingqing who appeared suddenly was not an opponent and had no capital to contend with. Yiting, this is what you said before, what kind of king subordinate? I don't think so, you don't have to worry. In the future, just follow the boss and do a lot of things. It's much better than you did before. Huo Qingqing smiled mysteriously, waving the broad sickle in his hand lightly in the air, and then aimed at the regressive soul. Suddenly, Yuan Zun's body stiffened, and he only felt locked in. There is a voice in my heart that keeps beeping. If you dare to move, you will definitely die. At this moment Yi Ting was completely dumbfounded, and she felt a collapse in her heart. I was thinking about getting information, and then went to the king's side to atone for the merits, but Huo Qingqing's sudden appearance directly caused her to collapse. The plan is disrupted, and there is only one way to be alone. Almost in an instant, Yi Ting's figure disappeared and appeared in front of the wrong soul. Only by killing the wrong souls, no one will know what happened today, and she is not a traitor. It can be said to be quite cruel. The wrong soul only feels angry in his heart. Yi Ting must have rebelled, stone hammer. Clang. The sound of metal collision came, and the soul easily blocked Yi Ting's attack. After all, the true strength was compared, and the soul could crush Yi Ting. Of course Yi Ting knew this, but there was no way she didn't want to be chased by Wang. Then the two fought desperately together, and Huo Qingqing was watching a play next to him. Sister, are you really good like this? Huo Xuxiu appeared next to Huo Qingqing, her small face full of pity, you are going to ruin the new employee. Ha, huh, who told this guy to be dishonest, if she was willing to follow the boss, how would I do it? Huo Qingqing looked righteous and awe-inspiring. Huo Xuxiu pouted, she felt that her unsuspecting big sis was not saved. At the same time, the battle between Yi Ting and Yuan Han was about to be determined. After all, Yuan Han was stronger than Yi Ting. At this time, he was already fighting against each other. In a while, Yi Ting will probably be killed. Of course Huo Qingqing will not let this happen. After all, 
she knows that there is still a shortage of manpower in the store, and the new employees who have finally gotten lost will definitely be blamed by Qin Ming. Huo Qingqing snorted coldly, and an invisible force radiated out. The injustice who was fighting suddenly flew out, and blood spurted in the air. Good very good. The unjust soul rolled on the ground, with a grim face. Yi Ting, you dare to betray the king, you are dead. Let me say one more thing, I don't have one. Yi Ting snorted coldly, and a strong killing intent appeared in her eyes. Just as she was about to do it, the soul of the wrongdoer disappeared in front of her. Yi Ting just remembered that the escape method for the wrong soul is also a must. At this time, letting the souls escape, she couldn't catch up at all, and the only person on the court who could catch up with the opponent obviously wouldn't make a move. For a while, Yi Ting's face was pale, and she knew that she was playing the ball. Chuck, don't be afraid, there is a big sis, no one can hurt you. Huo Qingqing smiled and walked forward. At this time, Yi Ting knew how terrible the woman in front of him was. Don't look at Huo Qingqing's harmless human beings and animals when he usually follows Qin Ming, but a serious and diligent cook. But at its root, the other party is still a big demon who kills without blinking and eats people without salt. You just kill me, Yi Ting said coldly. Huo Qingqing covered her mouth and chuckled. What do you think, if I kill you, the boss will definitely blame me. I don't care what you thought before and what your plans are now. In short, since you are already doing things behind the boss, give me peace. When Huo Qingqing said this, her expression suddenly became cold. If you dare to do anything that will cause the boss to lose anything, you will die. After speaking, Huo Qingqing returned to the brainless Oni San appearance, changed his robes into refreshing sportswear, turned and walked towards the hotel. At this moment, Yi Ting stood in place with a tangled face. She regretted how she made such a stupid decision in the first place. On the other side, after the evil spirits fled, they rushed back immediately. He wanted to inform Wang of this news, and Yi Ting had indeed rebelled. Soon, in the cave, Wang already knew the news. There is no change in his expression, but judging from his trembling hands, it is certain that the king at this time is very angry. All the demon kings around him dare not say anything, for fear that they will be caught by the king at this time and give a hammer. And it's the kind that kills with one blow. Hee <laughs> hee, I didn't expect it, I didn't expect that she would betray the king. A look of vicissitudes appeared on the young man's face, and it seemed that he felt sad because of Yi Ting's rebellion. You said, there are many powerful demon kings beside human beings, even stronger than me. Yuan Kun hurriedly lowered his head. Yes, Wang, I suggest that Yi Ting be eliminated quickly, and she will leak our plan. Inside the cave, he fell into silence. After a while, the young man slowly raised his head, his eyes full of coldness. One day today, he was hit too much. First, the plan he had prepared for many years was destroyed, and then more than a dozen demon kings rebelled. What he didn't expect was that the people he trusted the most also rebelled and turned to the enemy. Humans are really not a good thing. The young man murmured, Wonderful soul, you take someone to get rid of Yi Ting. There are only three days left in the plan, so there is no room for error. Yes, my king. The soul nodded hurriedly, and then his body disappeared. On the throne, the young man squinted his eyes and exuded a dangerous breath. It seems that I need to use that thing. Dot dot dot. In the headquarters of the guarding bureau at Mount Tai, Wu Haishan had already seen Yang Yanyan and others who had arrived. After experiencing several things in Donghai City, Sun Shouhang and others have become famous in the guarding bureau. They blocked several attacks one after another, and even stabilized the environment around Donghai City. Sun Shouhang contributed a lot. Not only that, there are mysterious powerhouses in Donghai City. Yan Yan, do you have any good news to tell me? Wu Haishan looked tired. Due to the instability around Mount Tai these days, Wu Haishan has been busily burnt. He suddenly felt that he had chosen to hold the contest on Mount Tai, which was a wrong decision. Wu Haishan vaguely had a hunch that something big would happen recently. Old Wu, according to our speculation, the mysterious god-level powerhouse in East Sea City is likely to be Huo Qingqing. Uyang Yanyan said, and then took out all the speculations. I have to say that although she didn't believe this before, a few days later, with her observations, Huo Qingqing might really be the person from the Bluebird archives. 
After all these speculations were put on the surface, Uyang Yan Yan said again, Old Wu, I have already told her that I might need her help these days, and she agreed. If you can't bear it enough, I think it's the best time to test her. Wu Haishan nodded. Although Huo Qingqing is not a human being, not all demon kings are hostile to humans. Actually, in the Northern Territory, we already have a god-level demon king Ali, of course only for now. After paying some acceptable price, the other party will do things for us. As soon as this remark came out, Uyang Yan Yan was shocked. Especially Sun Shouhang, can it be said that his own speculation is true? But in the end, people who are not from my race will have different minds, so beware. If the other party is willing to help this time, it's not bad. Where is she now? Uyang Yan Yan hurriedly said, at the hotel, with Qin Ming. Well, then, you can make an appointment for me tomorrow, I want to see each other. Uyang Yan Yan frowned. I don't agree much, after all, the other party. It's okay, isn't this old Zheng here? He will go with me. Wu Haishan smiled and waved his hand. I now need to know what the other party's plan is, so that I can start the following layout. No way, Uyang Yan Yan can only do it. Qin Ming, who was already ready to rest in the hotel, was a little confused. What do you want to see her for? You don't have to worry about it. At 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, Xingqin Coffee Shop, see her leave. When Yang Yan Yan finished speaking, she hung up the communication, Qin Ming rubbed her head, a little helpless. No way, he knew that if Huo Qingqing was not allowed to go, then there would be a lot of trouble. Qin Ming had seen the troublesome methods of Uyang Yan Yan and Yang Qianqin unite, and felt uncomfortable in every way. In the end, with an order, Huo Qingqing appeared at Xingqin Coffee Shop on time at 10 o'clock the next morning. After a recent period of edification, Huo Qingqing at this time looks like an urban pretty girl. She has silver hair, big black sunglasses, and top-notch luxury clothes. She sits in a coffee shop and is not allowed to enter. Many people could only look at Huo Qingqing secretly, and no one dared to come close at all. When a person is extremely beautiful, it will be like this. Not long after the store door was pushed open, Wu Haishan and Zheng Haifeng walked into it, and they saw Huo Qingqing, who was just like a crowd. Hello Miss Huo, I am the person who guards the headquarters of the bureau, Wu Haishan. Wu Haishan first introduced himself, this time we see you, and we have no other purpose, just simply. Okay, can't you treat me as a three-year-old child? Huo Qingqing interrupted, and then took a sip of milk tea. I repeat, I am really, just one. The cook. Huo Qingqing seemed a little helpless when he said this. It's been almost a month, these guys are bothering themselves every day, just because they are the devil. She admitted that On is indeed a demon who cannibalize people without putting salt, but now he is really right now. Cannibalism but not salt is because when she cultivated, the human soul had a great ascension to the cultivation base. But now even if there were hundreds of thousands of pure souls in front of her, Huo Qingqing didn't even take a look. Following Qin Ming, there is not only an ultra-high concentration of spiritual qi that can absorb the strength of ascension, but also an exaggerated and explosive good thing like Nine Cycles Gold Core. One Nine Cycles Gold Core will make her her current strength. What if one eats another one? I really can't even think about it. But after Huo Qingqing said these words, Wu Haishan nodded. He could feel Huo Qingqing's seriousness, and the other party seemed to really want to be a cook. There is a tendency to correct evil and return to the right. After all, you also know that demons and humans are two races, and your demons pose too much of a threat to humans. You should understand what I mean, I just want to be sure. I think the current life is very good, Huo Qingqing said indifferently. As soon as this remark came out, the big rock in Wu Haishan's heart was put down. There was a smile on his face, because he understood that Huo Qingqing, at least for the moment, was not the kind of brutal demons. As for the conspiracy of the other party, in Wu Haishan's view, it is actually not that important. After all, Huo Qingqing's strength is too strong, and sometimes there is no need for conspiracy at all, and direct manipulation is much better than the so-called conspiracy. And Huo Qingqing also said this deliberately. As Qin Ming's number one horse, she naturally wanted to solve Qin Ming's problems. 
It can be clearly seen that Qin Ming is terrifying, but he is not cold about the Guardian Bureau, and the Guardian Bureau continues to trouble Qin Ming because of his own problems. Another point, I can tell you an information. Huo Qingqing informed Wu Haishan about the inner king of Mount Tai. These news were all learned through, friendly, negotiations with Yi Ting in the morning. After learning the news, Wu Haishan frowned. It can't be said that there is a big change in expression, after all these years of ups and downs, what scenes have not been seen? What only worries him is that if the king's plan is really successful, Mount Tai will be transformed into a Shira purgatory within a few hundred miles. I see, thank you Miss Huo for the information. After a while, Wu Haishan slowly got up. He didn't say anything that needed help, but because he knew that under real circumstances, Huo Qingqing would definitely take action. In Wu Haishan's view, the mysterious powerhouse of Donghai City is Huo Qingqing. He had made two shots before, and he didn't believe that Huo Qingqing would not help this time. Of course, the premise was that things developed into an uncontrollable situation. At present, Wu Haishan still has considerable confidence in his side. Wu Haifeng has already contacted another god-level powerhouse. By then, there will be two god-level powerhouses sitting in town, afraid of not being able to deal with a king. The means of a god-level powerhouse is no longer what the emperor level can imagine here. The gap between these two realms can be said to be above and below, otherwise, why would it be called a god-level? While the two sides were negotiating, Qin Mingzhang and the staff of the Xinling Hotel were sitting in the stands of the venue. Today is the preliminary contest of the contest. 20,000 players will compete in a quick battle to get out of the 1,000 places that enter the official competition. Don't look at 20,000 and choose 1,000. Among them, they are already extremely good young people who can enter the primaries. Those who can truly enter 1,000 are the elites among the elites, and in the future they will be the top talents in the country of China. At this time, it was finally Xiao Nianzu's turn to debut. There were a total of 30 arenas on the field, and each arena was in competition all the time, and not too many people paid attention to it. Xiao Nianzu, come on. If you can enter the official competition, go back to Big Sis and cook your favorite meals for you. Nianzu girl, you can definitely do it, believe in yourself. On the stage, the employees beside Qin Ming kept cheering and cheering, with all kinds of bells and whistles in their hands. On the ring, Xiao Nianzu's face turned red, which was caused by his emotions. And her opponent was a girl from a well-known university. Seeing her look on her face, she was obviously quite confident in own strength. The opponent on the ring expressed disdain for Xiao Nianzu's expression. Cut, the little girl from the country can enter the qualifiers, I'm afraid it's not some shit luck. The opponent sneered again and again, and after the referee announced the start, he did not show a serious attitude towards the battle. This scene made Baymao and others very upset. You don't know if you're pretending to be struck by lightning. HMPH, just your attitude, you can beat Xiao Nianzu Rhubarb's live broadcast of eating shit. Hey hey, why don't you pull me up, okay. Unlike the excitement in the audience, Xiao Nianzu has calmed down at this time. She first bowed with cupped hands, then focused on her small face, and then put on a hand gesture Huo Qingqing taught her. The appearance was quite satisfactory, but the opponent seemed somewhat casual, and did not put Xiao Nianzu's strength in his eyes. Seeing that the other party didn't mean to do anything, Xiao Nianzu was still not in a hurry, so the two looked at each other on the stage. What a hillbilly, if that's the case, then I'll give you a plain ticket. With a cold snort, the opponent rushed directly to Xiao Nianzu. The tournament is quite special, and it is based on grade. Xiao Nianzu is in the first grade, so the opponent will also be the first grade freshman. But looking at the girl's hands-on posture, it is obviously not the kind of ignorant freshman, but a person who has experienced a lot of practical training. Kill her, kill her. In the guardian spirit space, the little cat kept muttering. When it was said that it was too late, the girl quickly came to Xiao Nianzu and threw a punch, but was easily avoided by Xiao Nianzu. Then Xiao Nianzu turned around and kicked and was parried by the girl. The two of you come and go, both are in preliminary trials, and the fights are considered wonderful. After half a minute, a sneer appeared on the girl's face. If you only have this strength, then you can roll back now. Saying that she had bullied herself up, at the same time that her elbow struck, her other hand had already made the next horizontal punch. 
Xiao Nianzu did not rush, resisting the attacks one after another, and then suddenly rushed forward, clenching a fist with her right hand, and smashing it directly on the opponent's shoulder. Boom! With a muffled sound, Xiao Nianzu directly knocked the opponent out, or directly hit the ring. Suddenly, the girl who fell on the ground was full of disbelief. She actually lost to the girl from the country. She still has many means to no avail. It's a pity that this is the consequence of not going all out when fighting, and the lion fights the rabbit with all its strength, not to mention such an important battle contest. No. 67. Qin Nianzu Sheng. Xiao Nianzu won the first battle easily, and this difficulty was nothing to her. To be more ugly, she didn't use any force, and the opponent fell. The first game was won. Many employees in the audience clapped excitedly and kept shouting for cheer, but ordinary voices could not penetrate the barriers of 100,000 people opening their mouths. After winning the game, although Xiao Nianzu could not hear the cheers of the crowd, she could see Qin Ming and others in the audience. She stuck her tongue out at Qin Ming, and then sat in the lounge, waiting for the start of the next competition. Regardless of the 20,000 people in the audience, they stood up quickly in batches and regions. After more than an hour, Xiao Nianzu knocked the two opponents into the air again, and entered the final stage of the pre-selection. Teamwork. After all, these pillars of talent will become guardians in the future. Guardians are not a place to fight alone, and collaboration is equally important. And this round happens to be the final battle, and the winner will enter the real tournament. It uses a 10-player to 10 method. In teamwork, personal strength is of course important, but the most important thing is the tacit understanding of teamwork. How much tacit understanding can be displayed in a short period of time, that is, it can prove how much strength you have in teamwork. Coincidentally, Xiao Nianzu and Su Qingyuan were divided into a small team, and the two women breathed a sigh of relief. In this way, entering the official game is stable. Most of their teams are girls. At this time, in the backstage lounge, 10 people are getting together to discuss the next battle strategy. We have more girls and belong to a flexible team. After the war, we don't need to swarm them. We can form a team in twos and threes, and we won't be besieged when we look for opponents. Once something happens, people around can also help quickly. What do you think of this strategy? The one who spoke was a woman with a height of about 1.77 meters, her face was full of heroic spirit, and she also exuded a kind of leader's temperament. Everyone had no opinion on such a strategy. After a consensus was reached, they began to discuss specific details. What people didn't expect was that there were four people who seemed to be very repulsive to Xiao Nianzu. When it comes to the distribution of formations, no one teamed up with Xiao Nianzu and Su Qingyuan. Although Su Qingyuan is a god of war-level strength, there is not only one god of war-level genius in the team. The tall girl is one, and the other two are also god of war-level. It can be said that the lineup is strong and it is difficult to lose. The key issue is that even if your team eventually wins the game, those who are out of the ring will be judged to be eliminated. In the end, under the distribution of the tall girl, the two Xiao Nianzu and the other two formed the only four-person group. When they were preparing for the next battle in the lounge, the four girls were getting together and didn't know what they were talking about. From time to time, they watched Xiao Nianzu. The kind-hearted Xiao Nianzu didn't notice anything, but Su Qingyuan did. These girls looked at Xiao Nianzu with bad eyes, especially the girl with God of War level strength among them, looked at Xiao Nianzu with a contemptuous look very calmly. Nianzu, when you are fighting for a while, you must be careful of someone stabbing a knife in the back. Suddenly, Su Qingyuan whispered to Nianzu. Ah, aren't we teammates? Xiao Nianzu said blankly. Su Qingyuan shook his head. Sometimes, teammates are more terrifying than enemies. Drop. At this time, the red light in the lounge lights up, which means that they are about to start a martial arts competition. Okay, just follow the previously agreed plan. Once the group is besieged, the other two groups must find opportunities to help. Only in this way can we win the contest to the greatest extent. By the way, my name is Cheng Shi, and I hope everyone will take care of me. As soon as this statement came out, there were a series of exclamations in the lounge, and everyone's eyes looking at Cheng Shi were full of surprise. Are you that Cheng Shi? It's the fiercest first-year freshman at Imperial Capital University. Oh my god, this time we have a ghost if we can lose. 
everyone was surprised with excitement. Chang Zai's reputation was so great. As the fiercest first-year freshman at Imperial Capital University, it was known to everyone at the beginning of this competition. Not only is she strong and powerful, she is also extremely talented. According to legend, she was 13 when she first awakened the guardian spirit. Although it was relatively late, and when he awakened, he was only capable of being a junior general. But in just five years, Cheng Shi abruptly turned the strength ascension into a junior god of war level. Although it is only a big realm, such an ascension can be produced in five years, which is terrifying. Not to mention, how difficult it is to break through from the warlord level to the shackles of the god of war level. She has been booked by the headquarters of the Guardian Bureau. As long as she graduates, she will enter the Guardian Bureau as a senior. And it is estimated that by that time, Cheng Zai's strength will be an intermediate god of war level, less to say. Even the advanced level is no exaggeration. The school's resources are tilted down, and Cheng Zai's own background is extremely terrifying. He has more cultivation resources, and ascension strength is faster. At this time, after Cheng Shi blew herself up, everyone in the lounge became excited. This time they were obviously set to win. Cheng Shi just smiled indifferently. She was not very arrogant and considered herself very strong. On the contrary, Cheng Shi was very humble and mighty at certain times, but after all, she was humble. As long as you do your own thing and follow the previous distribution plan, winning this round is not a problem. Cheng Shi smiled indifferently, and then led everyone to the venue. At this time, the 30 small arenas in the venue had become 5 big arenas, which was more than enough for a total of 20 people from both sides to fight together. Standing on the ring, Xiao Nianzu took a deep breath to calm the tension in her heart. At the same time, she raised her head and looked forward. The 10 people on the opposite team were all boys, and 3 of them were god of war level talents. The head was a young man with yellow hair, with an unruly smile on his face, his eyes fixed on Cheng Shi. Chen Lehei, what do you mean by your eyes? Cheng Shi sneered. Oh, it's nothing, it's just that you, the operation of the gods and nine dogs, makes me look a little dumbfounded. Chen Lehei sneered. As soon as this statement came out, everyone in Cheng Zai's team looked cold, and the eyes looking at Chen Lehei were full of unkindness. Even Xiao Nianzu, who has always had a peaceful heart, frowned and her little face was full of unhappiness. What are you looking at? Seeing this, Chen Lehe continued to ridicule. If it is useful, what do you need this strength to do? A bunch of trash. Chen Lehe's words were not unreasonable, and Cheng Zai's team immediately exploded. Especially Cheng Shi, the eyes of Chen Lehe were full of anger. Both of them are top geniuses in the Imperial Capital University, but because of Cheng Zai's strength, Chen Lehei has always been at the forefront. This resulted in Chen Lehei being very hostile to Cheng Shi, and no matter how much effort or sweat he expended, after every ascension strength, he was shocked to discover that Cheng Shi was still better than himself. This kind of humiliation brought Chen Lehei's hostility towards Cheng Shi to the top. Two people are very strong people, which leads to the need to compete wherever they are. And Cheng Shi was always better than Chen Lehei, so the grievances between the two sides never ceased. At this time, Chen Lehei naturally wanted to maximize the advantages of his mouth. Clang! The bell rings, this is a sign of the beginning of the competition. Now there are only five large-scale arenas, which is different from the previous 30 arenas. At this time, almost all 100,000 spectators in the audience are paying attention to the open arena. At the moment the bell rang, Chen Lehei had already launched an attack. They seem to be out of order and all the staff are rushing, but in fact there is a certain connection between everyone and everyone. The advantage of this is that it is flexible and changeable, but the disadvantages are very obvious. As long as someone in the team is not personally strong, it will not be useful. From the overall situation, Chen Lehei seems to be a bit better than Cheng Shi. In an instant, the two sides fought together, and the four-person team that Xiao Nianzu was in was being surrounded by five people because of the existence of a god of war class. On the other side, Chen Lehei dragged Cheng Zai's group alone. In this way, the remaining two groups will receive nine people besieged, and these nine people are extremely powerful. For a while, Xiao Nianzu was under a lot of pressure. Nianzu, find an opportunity for the two of us to practice hand strike first. 
Su Qingyuan looked at Xiao Nianzu in the melee, but before she could finish her words, she was hit by a fist on her chest by herself, and she took a few steps back in an instant. Xiao Nianzu's anger reached its peak when she saw this scene. After avoiding a punch from the opponent in front of her, she turned and rushed to Su Qingyuan's side, kicking the opponent in front of Su Qingyuan with a very fast speed. There was a sneak attack on this foot, and she was very fast in the melee, even if the opponent reacted to it, it was useless. Her kick is too powerful. The situation on both sides changed in an instant, 10 to 9. Cheng Shi, who was fighting with Chen Li and torn apart, saw this scene, and couldn't help but applaud Xiao Nianzu in her heart, but Chen Lihei entangled like a mad dog. At this time, Xiao Nianzu, who saw her friends wounded, seemed to have opened his own universe, like a super bully, killing all quarters on the court. With punches to the flesh, and the strength is extremely strong, the opponent can't hold the power of a punch and kick at all, even after the god of war grade student is punched by Xiao Nianzu, he must clutch his arm and keep grinning. At the same time, the kitty in the guardian spirit space began to show its top killer aura belonging to White Tiger. This caused Xiao Nianzu's aura to be much stronger than these students, even Chen Lihei and Cheng Shi, who were god of war level strength, were reluctant to retreat. In the audience, Qin Ming narrowed his eyes slightly. He discovered what happened to Xiao Nianzu the first time, and he was worried that it would affect Xiao Nianzu's character. But Bei's lion gave a reassuring answer. Although White Tiger's palm kills, but this kind of blood will not affect Xiao Nianzu's character, but the style will be super fierce when fighting. Just as at this time, Xiao Nianzu chased the god of war level student continuously and beat her, calling her father and mother. Then Xiao Nianzu found an opportunity, grabbed the student's arm, and made a big roundabout. The moment she let go, she also made a roundabout kick with extremely fast speed. This kick hit the opponent's back waist and almost knocked her waist to pieces. Good fight, Xiao Nianzu. In the audience, Bai Mao was extremely excited, because he taught Xiao Nianzu this trick and was used by this girl. The white hair of half a master naturally couldn't help being excited. Not only him, but all the restaurant staff were extremely excited, quite a sense of relief that their cabbage had matured. Unlike others, Yi Ting, who sits at the very edge, looks a little daunted. In fact, she has been like this from entering the venue until now. Because she really, rebelled. Yi Ting's face flushed at the thought of the shame of being pressed by Huo Qingqing on the sofa in the morning, with no thoughts about the audience. At this time, Xiao Nianzu's performance in the ring was very eye-catching, which attracted the attention of many people, and they were even talking about it. If this continues, Xiao Nianzu's team win is a certainty. Yi Ting didn't have much thoughts, all kinds of random thoughts in his mind, the most worried thing was still the king's pursuit. She knew that Wang would never be soft in dealing with traitors, which had a lot to do with the other party's management model. The most worrying thing in Yi Ting's heart now is that Wang Wei will send someone to chase him down. Although she is an emperor-level strength, it is not that there are no existences that can easily pinch her to death under the king, on the contrary there are many. If these people are dispatched, she will undoubtedly die. Although Huo Qingqing said before that, no one can hurt Yi Ting, and she also has the capital and strength to say this. However, Yi Ting does not think that Huo Qingqing will help herself at a critical moment. So no matter how you look at it, she is dead. Just when Yi Ting was thinking and worrying about it, the breath of the unjust soul appeared around him again. Suddenly, Yi Ting chuckled, her body suddenly clever. Are you coming? Yi Ting murmured in her heart, she looked in one direction, and she vaguely felt that the wrong soul was there. I have to say that the guilty soul is quite courageous and dared to appear in the venue. This is the top event in China. There are strong guardians everywhere. There are at least three imperial level powerhouses in charge, and I don't know how many god of war level players are. It is not an exaggeration to say that this is currently the strongest place in China. At the same time, Huo Qingqing also felt the aura of the wrong soul. She glanced at Yi Ting with a smile, her eyes full of evil taste. She could clearly see Yi Ting's body trembled, obviously in fear. Why, afraid now? Huo Qingqing smiled and looked at Yi Ting. Yi Ting trembled and did not say a word. She seemed stable like an old dog, but in fact she was already panicked. The king's hunt has begun. At this time, Cheng Shi and Su Qingyuan in the ring threw Chen Lihei out of the ring. Suddenly, 
there was a tsunami-like applause from the audience. Although Cheng Shi performed very well in this battle, the opponent is of God of War level strength after all. But Xiao Nianzu is different. She is still at the mid-level in strength, but her performance on stage today is quite dazzling. Directly hitting a God of War class powerhouse with his head, he finally kicked out of the ring with a strong kick. Intermediate generals defeated the junior god of war and defeated a big realm. Such strength is quite outstanding. The audience cheered, and most of the cheers were for Xiao Nianzu. Many leading teachers from Tunghai University also jumped up and applauded in excitement because it was so exciting. On the stage, although Xiao Nianzu won this one, her face was not very good. At this moment, she finally realized what Su Nianzu said, stabbing a knife in the back. When fighting just now, Xiaonian Shuiding was at the forefront, constantly fighting against Chen Lehei's team members. She shared the pressure of many people and made the greatest contribution. But under this circumstance, the previous four girls actually acted on Xiao Nianzu in dark red. After all, he is a teammate, so the four are quite concealed when they start their hands. At first, it just pretended to be accidentally beaten back, and then installed on Xiao Nianzu, causing Xiao Nianzu's fighting rhythm to be interrupted, and the opponent got a breathing opportunity to counterattack. Xiao Nianzu didn't pay much attention to this at first, but the number of times was so high, even if she was kind-hearted, she knew that there was a problem. Especially when she was playing against the God of War class powerhouse, these four girls disrupted the rhythm repeatedly and almost caused Xiao Nianzu to be thrown out of the ring. In the end, he went too far, directly facing Xiao Nianzu's back, pretending that he was accidentally hitting his opponent. Fortunately, the girl Nianzu is strong, and after many short-term devil training by the Demon King and Demon King, she can fully cope with such a situation. And the little cats in the Guardian Spirit's face were also helping, of course, only helping with their mouths, and they didn't get bloody cursing on those girls. It is not allowed to call out the Guardian Spirit to fight together in the martial arts competition. This caused Xiao Nianzu's mentality to explode, and the people she trusted sneaked in behind her, making her feel disappointed. Afterwards, the unhappy anger was all vented on the God of War class opponent, and the opponent who hit was a miserable one. Under the ring, Chen Lehei looked at Cheng Shi and Xiao Nianzu with a gloomy face. He lost, and lost again. It can be said that this time he lost most of his teammates. A god of war class was chased and beaten by the general class and kicked out of the ring. It was incredible. Thinking of this, his eyes on Nianzu's girl were full of gloom and resentment. Very good, very powerful. Chen Li and Cold Li looked at the two women at the top of the ring. Cheng Shi, I hope you will be so lucky in the following matches. There are no people who are better than you this time. Cheng Shi didn't say a word about this, but sarcastically raised a middle finger. An angry Chen Lehei wanted to scold his mother. After Xiao Nianzu's team finished the game, the group slowly walked towards the lounge. Cheng Shi stepped forward and reached out to her. Hello, my name is Cheng Shi, I don't know what your name is yet. Chen Nianzu. Nianzu, nice name, your performance just now was great. The strength of the warlord can defeat the strength of God of War. To be honest, you are better than me. After receiving compliments from the other party, Xiaonian Xuechao blushed slightly, and she also had a certain affection for Cheng Shi. But after experiencing today's incident in which Lei stepped on the back and stabbed a knife, Xiaonian Zhu had an inexplicable resistance to strangers. I have seen all the little movements of those girls, don't worry, I will help you. Cheng Shi was solemn and authentic. Xiao Nianzu nodded, and without saying much, the group walked towards the lounge. Besides, in the audience, Yi Ting's body had already begun to tremble. She knew that this time she came to chase own and had a strong ability and a large number of people. These guys were afraid of the environment here and did not take action, but Yi Ting believed that as long as he left here, the other party would definitely kill her if they found a chance. She is dead. Thinking of this, a sorrowful smile appeared on her face, and she felt a deep weakness. Desperately doing so many things for the king, because of a misunderstanding, it became what it is now. The other party didn't even have a chance to explain it to himself. Yi Ting is uncomfortable. Huo Qingqing looked relaxed, and did not pay attention to the few cats and dogs that appeared. But if these guys dare to come to Qinming and do things, then she will let these people know what the real number one horse is. This is not enough to lick. 
The strength must also be strong enough. With the end of the last team game, today's competition comes to an end. Tomorrow will compete for the place in the finals, Houdian will be the finals. After this is the big match between the guardians, compared to the students, the match between these guards is the highlight. Of course, all of this is a little far away, and Xiao Nianzu is not in a very good mood after finishing a tiring day of fighting and experiencing something like that. Qin Ming saw everything on the ring in his eyes, but did not say anything. In his opinion, there are certain things that Xiao Nianzu must face alone, so that he can grow faster. He can't stay by this girl all the time, right? What's interesting is that Chu Jingyao has also entered the official competition quota. It can be said that his luck all the way is so good that his opponents are weaker than him, and he was also carried to win together in team battles. Chu Jingyao was in a good mood, almost believing that he would get a good ranking in his heart, so that his behavior style began to become the second generation ancestor. I have packed dinner, and have a big meal at the Seven Star Hotel. After shouting out these words very boldly, Chu Jingyao was suddenly taken aback. A powerful and terrifying aura enveloped everyone, and after feeling it, Chu Jingyao's calf trembled in terror. This is not something he can resist as a warlord. At the same time, Yi Ting's body trembled suddenly, and then hurriedly started looking for an opportunity to escape. Qin Ming only raised his eyebrows slightly, and Huo Qingqing gave a cold snort. Don't hide it sneakily, give you three seconds to get out. As soon as the voice fell, five figures appeared from the side, surrounding everyone. Jia Jia, Yi Ting, do you really think you can live if you throw in the enemy like this? The king will never let you go. The soul who had found Yi Ting before gave a sneer, exuding a cold breath. Coupled with the grinning faces of a few people around, there is a feeling of villain being a big boss. However, such an appearance only shocked Chu Jingyao, a young man who didn't understand things, and the others were expressionless by then. Huo Qingqing had no waves in her heart, and even yawned. I thought you were so capable that I came here with such a few small fish and shrimps. Now there are two ways left in front of you. Kneeling and standing, let me shoot to death. In the evening, the pale red sunset slightly sprinkled on the shoulders of the crowd, and in the lazy afterglow, several people walked and chatted easily and happily. This time in the National Martial Arts Competition, there are many good seedlings among the younger generation. Cheng Shi and Chen Lehe are both good, but unfortunately, Chen Li and that kid have bad temperaments and need to be polished. That girl Chen Nianzu should be considered the best performer today, and her strength is much stronger than her realm. You don't even look at the existence around Qin Nianzu. Wu Yang Yanyan, Wu Haishan and others walked out of the venue with a faint smile, constantly discussing the previous contest. There are indeed many young people doing well this time, and Qin Nianzu, the most dazzling one, is now the loudest voice. Wu Yang Yanyan spent more than half a month in Donghai City, and she naturally knew what the environment of Nianzu was. During this time, Huo Qingqing and others trained her at night, and it was unexpected and unexpected to have such a performance. While several people were laughing and talking about how to deal with the Mount Tai Demon King in a few days, Zheng Haifeng, who was walking in front, was suddenly taken aback. Attracted by his gaze, the rest of the people also looked at them one after another, and they saw five demon kings exuding horror and demons encircling a group of people in the center. Among them, Huo Qingqing and others are impressively listed. His father, in broad daylight, these demons are too rampant, they dare to appear in such crowded places. As the energy monitoring room of the Guardian Bureau eating shit, Zheng Haifeng snorted coldly, full of anger, and when he rolled up his sleeves and was about to shoot these demon kings to death, he suddenly froze in place. I saw what Huo Qingqing said in front of him. The man opposite her just started to sneer, and Huo Qingqing slapped him abruptly. Taken away from time to time. Then the man who was sneering turned into a cloud of grey mist and died tragically on the spot. The other four were shocked. Obviously, they didn't expect Huo Qingqing's strength to be so powerful, but it was too late to run. Huo Qingqing's right hand was held in the air, and the other four demon kings were instantly killed into dregs. Such a scene fell in Zheng Haifeng's eyes, but it was extremely shocking. He felt from the fluctuations in the spirit power that Huo Qingqing shot, Huo Qingqing is a god-level powerhouse, even stronger than himself. 
Zhang Haifang is an intermediate god level powerhouse, and the opponent is better than him, so obviously he is a high level god level. Belonging to the kind of family who can enter a higher level. Really shocked Zhang Haifang. Old Zhang, did you see it just now? Uyang Yan Yan couldn't believe her own eyes. Although she and Huo Qingqing had resisted the animal tied together before, Huo Qingqing didn't feel that way to her at that time. To tell the truth, with the strength that Huo Qingqing showed now, the beast tied at that time could be slapped out by the opponent with a slap. Her strength is stronger than me, Zhang Haifang said very solemnly. His expression was solemn, and his eyes were full of awe when looking at Huo Qingqing. This was the heart of awe for the strong. At the same time, Huo Qingqing also noticed this side. She looked at Uyang Yan Yan, cast a wink, and then proceeded forward with Qin Ming and others casually. Uyang Yan Yan and the others even saw Xiao Nianzu flushed, and kept circling Huo Qingqing. Old Zhang, this, if this strong man is willing to take action, Mount Tai's affairs will not matter at all. Wu Haishan was slightly excited. As the person in charge of the headquarters of the Guardian Bureau, he has always been concerned with the affairs of these fierce beasts and demons. Mount Tai has been out of control since the revival of spiritual qi. There are too many fierce beast demon kings here, and the guarding bureau simply doesn't have enough staff to clean it up. Even this time, he was cruel, and wanted to take advantage of this tournament to combine two god-level powerhouses to completely eradicate the trouble around Mount Tai. But after experiencing the events of the previous expedition team, Wu Haishan felt a bit stuck. Just two people can easily kill the expedition team, let alone such a guy, I don't know how many there are in Mount Tai. As a result, at this moment, Huo Qingqing was born. Yan Yan, I have a very important task for you to do. Wu Haishan turned to look at Uyang Yan Yan, his face full of dignity. Uyang Yan Yan rolled her eyes. She knew what Wu Haishan was going to say without even thinking about it. Sure enough, Wu Haishan continued. Be sure, let Huo Qingqing help us this time, she can mention it at will for any price. Dot dot dot. Wow, Qingqing big sis, you are so powerful, what kind of power are you? You were so handsome just now, you slapped it, and that terrible guy died. Xiao Nianzu took Huo Qingqing's arm and kept spinning, her face was full of admiration. Huo Qingqing smiled lightly, she was quite satisfied with Xiao Nianzu's worship. At this time, she realized that it was so good to be a good person, punishing treacherous and eliminating evil, and then enjoying the heroic feeling. My heart is more determined, and I want to become a sharp blade in Qin Ming's hands. After getting along for a while, Huo Qingqing has come to understand that although Qin Ming has been hiding in the downtown area low-key, but Qin Ming's heart is in the human race. He will be there every time the human race is in crisis. Just like this time, although Uyang Yan Yan seemed to be constantly coming to harass, Qin Ming agreed to come to Mount Tai. But Huo Qingqing understands that a big man like Qin Ming clearly knows that there is a problem with the gathering of fierce beasts here. So, just find a legitimate reason to cover up own purpose. Such a low-key person, can be called a big hidden in the city. Thinking of this, Huo Qingqing couldn't help but feel a sense of extreme admiration in Qin Ming's heart, and even more correctly placed his position as the number one horseman. And watching Xiao Nianzu circle Huo Qingqing like this, Qin Ming touched his nose. I don't know what it is, my heart is always not so comfortable. To put it bluntly, it's a bit sour. Obviously he is much better than Huo Qingqing, why doesn't he kiss little sister and circle around him? Brother, Qingqing Big Sis is so powerful, I will become such a powerful person in the future. Why have you become so good? Qin Ming was a little sluggish. Of course it is to punish rape and eliminate evil. Get rid of all the beasts and evil spirits. Xiao Nianzu waved her powder fist, looking forward to her face. You must have this day, don't worry. Bei Mao smiled. After that, except for Qin Ming's unpleasant feelings, a group of people walked towards the hotel happily. It was as if what had just appeared was not five big monsters that could destroy a city, but a group of small ants that squeezed to death. Not long after I walked into the hotel, I saw a figure in the lobby. Ah, it's such a coincidence, are you guys coming here to eat too? Uyang Yan Yan leaned forward with a smile. Qin Ming and others were full of black lines for a while. Good guy, it's really impossible to treat everyone as a fool. 
Everyone heard what you said to Wu Haishan just now. Don't go. Huo Qingqing stepped forward and stood in front of everyone, looking at Uyang Yan Yan coldly. Uyang Yan Yan's complexion instantly became stiff. Cough cough, people don't understand it if they are difficult to disassemble. Qin Ming's voice came from behind, Huo Qingqing suddenly shrank his neck and took a step back. Qin Ming, as the boss of these guys, you can help me say a few words. Uyang Yan Yan smiled and said, what are the conditions, you can do it, as long as you can tell Huo Miss to help us. This kind of truth, right, I'm just an ordinary person. They work with me because of the comfort of my job and the charisma of my boss. In the restaurant, my words are quite useful, but this. A look of embarrassment appeared on Qin Ming's face. Uyang Yan Yan's face was full of MMP-like smiles. Qin Ming, it's almost done, don't go too far. Uyang Yan Yan grinned and gritted her teeth. This Qin Ming clearly wants to sit down and raise the price. Sure enough, no treacherous, no business. Then I don't have any other conditions, just one question. You said, if you can satisfy, I will satisfy you, this time I have full authority. Hearing this, Qin Ming nodded, showing a mysterious color on his face. I saw him approaching Uyang Yan Yan. Could you tell me where in China, there are many things like demon kings and devil kings? Uyang Yan Yan's eyes widened. Why are you asking this? Just ask, don't get excited, you see that these employees in my store are pretty good, you have seen what happened just now, you can do it if you don't agree, it's very fierce. You have to give me a reason. Uyang Yan Yan raised her eyebrows and said suspiciously. It's true that this is their request. Uyang Yan Yan was silent for a long time. She doesn't know what medicine Qin Ming sells in Calabash, but she knows one thing very well. If a strong man like Huo Qingqing is willing to follow Qin Ming, there must be some cooperation between the two sides. It is estimated that Qin Ming will hide his identity. Otherwise, Qin Ming wouldn't be able to make a family so quickly. Since both of them are collaborators, it is very possible that Qin Ming's words were secretly instructed by Huo Qingqing. So what is the purpose? Suddenly, Uyang Yan Yan thought of something. The ascension strength of these guys can be achieved by devouring the evil spirits, do they want to swallow all those demon kings and demon kings, ascension's own strength. The more I think about it, the more Uyang Yan Yan feels that this is possible. After trying to figure it out, she had a bottom in her heart, and immediately began to fiddle with Ong Guangra. It didn't take long for a copy of the information to be sent to Qin Ming. After a glance, he looked satisfied. I saw Qin Ming and Chu Jingyao and others walking towards the hotel box without looking back. Huo Qingqing was the only one left. In an instant, Uyang Yan Yan was almost moved to cry by own cleverness. Sure enough, her guess was correct. After the IQ occupied the high ground, the strength and so on are all clouds. Miss Huo, we want to talk to you about specific things. As soon as Uyang Yan Yan spoke, Huo Qingqing calmly raised her hand to interrupt. Don't tell me specific things, just tell me the time and place. Since Qin Ming had let himself go, Huo Qingqing did not delay, very free and easy. Such an attitude makes Uyang Yan Yan more determined to guess. She has a feeling that she seems to have grasped the way of communicating with these powerful people. Okay Miss Huo, I will inform Qin Ming as soon as I have any news. Can, Huo Qingqing nodded, and then raised his wrist like an urban beauty to check the time. I don't have much time, so I won't spend much time with you. After speaking, he turned around and walked away. With such an attitude and such a posture, Uyang Yan Yan's blood flow accelerated and her heartbeat accelerated. Huo Qingqing is simply too temperamental, too chic. Is this what can be possessed by powerful strength? If this is the case, Uyang Yan Yan also wants to become a woman like Huo Qingqing, under her absolute strength, chic and unrestrained. After getting Huo Qingqing's reply, Uyang Yan Yan rushed to the Guardian Bureau nonstop. When this shocking news was passed on to everyone, everyone fried the pot. Zheng Haifeng and Wu Haishan even looked at each other, and both saw hope in the eyes of both sides. Okay, great, with this strong man, it is a certainty to clear Mount Tai. Wu Haishan said excitedly. At this time, Uyang Yan Yan mysteriously smiled. It's not a secret, this time I also got a bigger good news. Then she presented own analysis and evidence, and the conference room fell silent.
Then came fierce discussions, because the truth of this matter is related to the survival of China. In the end, there is no reason for the routine, but Wu Haishan said that this idea can be used to test it in the future. If Qin Ming really has a good relationship with Huo Qingqing and is equal to a spokesperson, then the Guardian Bureau can also have a long-term cooperation with her. Dot dot dot. Let's say that after everyone in Qin Ming finished their meal and celebrated for Xiao Nianzu in the hotel, a group of people didn't know who raised their heads and said they wanted to play poker. So a group of people nestled together to play and stare. Yi Ting didn't join in. At this moment, she was sitting desperately by the French window, her head leaning on the glass, her eyes looking hollow. She felt very ridiculous in her heart. She did so many things for the king and ended up in this way. What's more ridiculous is that Huo Qingqing, who had never met before, would actually help. The kind of polarization that was abandoned by cronies and then moved by strangers made her unable to recover for a long time. At the same time Yi Ting has a very weak feeling. She thinks that her strength is good. Although she is not as good as the king's generals, she is also a top-level existence in human society. Nehi's recent experience has been a blow to her. Any human that looks like a fool is actually a terrifying powerhouse, and even the demon king under his hand can hang the king if he pulls it out. On the other hand, Huo Qingqing didn't join the staring eyes either. She didn't know why she played cards as a black hole. If she sits down, she is really staring all the time and can't play a single card. At this time, Huo Qingqing was holding a glass of red wine, leaning against Yi Ting, his eyes were constantly sweeping Yi Ting. It feels like a villain queen. There was an idea in her heart. She heard Qin Ming and Uyang Yan Yan's chat today, and she could roughly see Qin Ming's purpose. There may be insufficient staff in the shop. Well, it must be so. And this Yi Ting obviously knew the existence of some demon kings. Maybe now is a good opportunity to help the big guys. Huo Qingqing perfectly explained what is the number one horse. It is simply to solve Qin Ming's worries to the extreme. Then Huo Qingqing stepped forward and put his arm around Yi Ting. Yi Ting's body trembled visibly, she knew that this was a big demon who really didn't blink. Although I don't understand why such a demon king would follow human beings as a horse, but Yi Ting understood one thing in his heart. He is definitely not this opponent. Everyone is a person who does things for the boss, and the relationship will naturally become acquainted in the future, but now, there is an opportunity in front of you. What chance? Yi Ting turned his head blankly. Tell me where you were before. Now there is a shortage of staff in the store. If the boss can find some suitable employees, your impression of the boss will definitely increase a lot. The benefits at that time are not what you can imagine. Huo Qingqing is like a black-hearted grandfather, tempting Yi Ting's heart step by step. Yi Ting was desperate at this time, she didn't know how to answer. According to the script, I should have refused to answer, and then Huo Qingqing, friendly, exchanges for a while, and then, excited, to tell the news. She didn't want to endure such torture, and she didn't want to tell the information so frankly. After all, this would really be a surrender to the enemy. For a time, Yi Ting was very tangled. Huo Qingqing didn't seem to have so much patience, and the hand that held Yi Ting's shoulder exerted a slight force. Give you a chance, you have to seize it. I, I said. Yi Ting trembled and hurriedly said everything she knew. After getting the specific address and strength distribution, Huo Qingqing nodded. The human resources there seem to be very abundant. I just don't know if the boss likes it or not. Muttered in her heart, Uyang Yan Yan patted Yi Ting's pretty face. Very well, now you are your own. Leave without any ambiguity. Yi Ting continued to hide in the corner alone again, his face full of irreverence. In her heart, she always didn't want to betray completely. At the same time, Mimi came up quietly. Don't be afraid, although Sister Qingqing looks fierce and always likes to tease us, she is definitely the best for her own person. You were also brutally murdered. Liang Yan stared at innocent big eyes, nodded vigorously, and then the two women began to get together and vomit bitterness. After all, Huo Qingqing has been poisoned by Huo Qingqing. As victims, they all share a common language. While chatting, Yi Ting was very curious about doing things for Qin Ming, so she asked. Although the store's business is very busy, it is very fulfilling. I never thought that I had a talent for cooking. Liang Yan poked his own chin with his finger. 
I cook delicious food, and many customers have praised me with five stars, it's amazing. Yi Ting was full of black lines. Then, what benefits can you get there? Yes, the boss is generous. He pays me 2,000 credits a month, but sometimes the money is not enough to buy a beautiful dress. I am not asking this. Oh, there are other benefits too. The spiritual chi in the boss's house is super rich and pure, and there are many divine armament. Yi Ting's eyes stared. Divine armament, are you kidding me? Am I funny? Of course it's divine armament. The last time Bai Mao wanted to take a look, he was almost cut off by divine armament himself. Liang Yan suddenly thought of something and excitedly said, By the way, the boss still has a magic pill. After eating it, he will be able to ascension a lot. How much can ascension? Before I was an emperor, now I am a god. Liang Yan smiled. It's still the advanced kind. Yi Ting was completely petrified, his eyes filled with disbelief, and he was shocked beyond words. It seems that following Qin Ming has a lot of benefits, and Qin Ming has never exploited or threatened them, let alone killed his subordinates like her old boss did. And Yi Ting thought about it for a while. He followed Wang for so long, apart from gaining trust, the benefits were minimal and pitiful. With such a calculation, following Qin Ming is not a bad thing. And Yi Ting is very longing for the mysterious pill that Liang Yan said, that guest is a good baby with many abilities ascension. Don't say she has seen this thing, she has never heard of it. A jelly bean sized thing can be as powerful as ascension, it is terrifying. No way, no way, I have been following Wang for so many years, and I haven't seen any benefits. How can I betray for this thing? Yi Ting snorted coldly in her heart, and a sneered look appeared on her face. But soon, another voice rang in the ear, like the devil's temptation. Go, that's the only chance to become a god. Impossible, it is impossible for me to betray the king. Yi Ting snorted coldly, covering her ears and fell into autism. Suddenly Yi Ting got up suddenly, his face was absolutely incomparable. Ha, huh, but gaining a little strength is not enough to make me betray the king. Even though he said that, Yi Ting's feet uncontrollably walked towards Huo Qingqing, who was playing the show. Report, I have important news to report. Yi Ting walked directly to Huo Qingqing and shouted solemnly, almost frightening Huo Qingqing to death. If you have something to say, let it go, it scares me to death. Huo Qingqing glared at the other party. I, I also know a top secret message. Yi Ting seems to have made a lot of determination. In fact, Wang still has another method. He can give people who pass through the space channel their original strength in a short time. Also, Wang has a lot of powerful subordinates in his exile in the mainland, and as you said before, there are many beautiful women, if they are captured, the boss will definitely, you 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 you. Before Yi Ting finished speaking, Huo Qingqing covered her mouth. Shut up, what nonsense, Huo Qingqing's face is serious, hands are hard, as if to crush Yi Ting's mouth. After finally breaking free, Yi Ting was aggrieved. It's not what you said, the boss likes beautiful women. Shut up. When did I say it? Huo Qingqing waited fiercely for Yi Ting, and at the same time hurriedly looked at Qin Ming, and he was relieved when he found that the other party was addicted and unable to extricate himself from his staring eyes. I warn you one last time, I just said, it's better to have beautiful women, understand. Looking at the murderous Huo Qingqing, Yi Ting nodded desperately, wishing to shake his head down. This time you count on you. If the boss is interested in this matter and finds a suitable employee, I will help you say a few words. That, that mysterious pill. Yi Ting said with a look of longing. Huo Qingqing smiled relaxedly. Don't worry, if you take care of your boss, you will be indispensable for this. But in fact, every new employee will have that thing. Huo Qingqing said that her own conscience will not hurt at all for a girl who is ignorant and successful. Qin Ming walked out of Huo Qingqing's room with a contented expression. With a ruddy color on his face, he just felt refreshed. Just now, he slaughtered the quartet on the staring battlefield, which perfectly explained what God of Gamblers is. And successfully got Xiao Nianzu's envy and hatred eyes, and the pride lost in the evening came back again. Reinvigorate the glory, but so. But Qin Ming slept beautifully, but the meeting room on the other side of the Guardian Bureau was full of tension. The alarm bell rang out, and everyone was very busy. Old Wu, the latest news. 
some beasts and evil spirits have arrived near Mount Tai, which is only 10 kilometers away from the city. A staff member shouted sternly. Wu Haishan frowned and stared at the big screen. There are countless red dots gathering on it. This is the number of beasts and evil spirits detected by special energy devices. Let alone, there are as many as five or sixty thousand. Wu Haishan knew that this was not all the strength around Mount Tai. The sum of those fierce beasts and evil spirits would be as many as millions. Not to mention there is a mysterious king, and his many men with terrifying power. For a while, Wu Haishan only felt that he was overwhelmed. He is still planning to launch a tentative attack. The opponent reacts faster than them, and directly deploys all the forces. With Huo Qingqing's affirmative reply, Wu Haishan has already begun to deploy a more radical plan for the next step, but he didn't expect the other party to be aware of it. Now the two sides have become a state of confrontation across the bank, and the battle is on the verge of breaking out and it is very critical. Although fighting in that place will not affect the people on this side of the city, once the two sides become anxious, the matter will be troublesome. Now that the contest of the Guardian Bureau is not over, he can't use many powerful players. Once the opponent increases the number of fierce beasts, or even a few powerful demon kings, the Guardian Bureau can only retreat. Then the opponent pursues the victory, and the city is at stake here. And a strong like Huo Qingqing obviously can't be used to deal with such a situation, doesn't it seem that they are useless to guard the game? From active to passive, Wu Haishan's brain hurts. Old Wu, fight, Wu Yang Yan Yan shouted from the side. The other party does not have any masters, it is just some fierce beasts, we just waited on the side. On the side, Zheng Haifeng also kept nodding. In the current situation, we can't retreat. One step back will take ten steps, and we will eventually fall into an impossible situation. Wu Haishan frowned, and after a moment, he gave a big hand. Your mother's kiss. With an order, the tens of thousands of guardians who had been prepared to continue directly attacked. This is the first time that humans in China have launched an active attack on Mount Tai forces in the past 30 years. Tens of thousands of guardians, who are at least intermediate level warriors, charge, and all kinds of powerful and ferocious means come out, and there are a variety of energy weapons in the rear. Beat the beast tide and evil spirits into pigs for a time. After all, this kind of animal tide can only have a terrifying deterrent when it rushes up. In this situation, standing with tens of thousands of pigs is not much different from letting people slaughter. The only thing to worry about is the powerful demons and monsters who will appear at Mount Tai at any time. The battle was unprecedentedly fierce and did not have any impact on the city. No ordinary people even knew that an unprecedented battle was taking place near Mount Tai. Uyang Yan Yan and several emperor-level powerhouses hid in the dark, Zheng Haifeng frowned, constantly searching for masters who might be lurking in the dark. But after more than half an hour of fighting, most of the beasts and evil spirits were killed and injured, and no strong demon appeared, which was more intriguing. Strange, what is that so-called king doing? Uyang Yan Yan frowned. During this period of time, she was always in contact with Qin Ming and others. She was very confident in her own brain power, and she always felt that there was a huge conspiracy waiting for her to develop. In reality, however, there is no conspiracy at all. Wang simply wanted to test the attitude of the human side, which played a vital role in his next plan. At this time, Wang was sitting on his own throne, listening to the people in his hands reporting the situation on the front line. Yes, it seems that those stupid humans are indeed preparing to fight the king to the death here. With a cold snort, Wang stood up from the throne, his body exuding endless ferocity. From the aura, his strength was already at the level of a high-level god, even one step away from the venerable level. After two days, everything is ready and the plan is implemented immediately. The cupped hands of the emperor-level demon king below lowered his head, Wang, then shall we continue to test now? Continue to test. I think you all have some itchy hands, you can go down and find a chance to have fun. Wang sneered. When this order was given, the demon powerhouses around were all excited. God knows how long they have been holding back in this mountain because of that plan, and now they finally have the opportunity to fight against humans, how can they not be excited? At the moment, the strong people in the cave are at least one third less. The other two thirds are relatively calm, at least not showing any intention to do anything at this time. Before long, 
the battlefield on the side of Mount Tai began to change drastically. The moment the strong demon appeared, Uyang Yanyan and others also appeared directly. After the two sides selected their opponents, they started fighting without saying a word. It's really a scene where people's heads are beaten into dogs' heads, because they are all emperor-level powerhouses, and the people on the side of the king are quite disdainful of beating. Both sides are normally singled out, and whoever fails will change. After fighting for three full hours, the Guardian Bureau lost more than 700 guardians, while the other side lost 100,000 fierce beasts and evil spirits, as well as three emperor-level existences. Afterwards, this fierce battle came to an end. On the whole, it seemed that the Guarding Bureau had a big advantage here, and the king's loss was not uncommon. However, compared with the huge number of emperor-level powerhouses, the king was not at all concerned about the three subordinates. Death in human hands can only be said to be waste. Gia Gia, stupid human beings, wait for the coming destruction. Sitting on the throne, Wang had a grim smile on his face. This battle did not alarm any ordinary people in the city, but Huo Qingqing and others could feel it. The battle was over at about 4.30 in the morning, and Huo Qingqing was standing with Bei Mao. How do you say, there are really a lot of high-quality human resources there? Bei Mao was learning from the young and dangerous boy in the movie, shaking his legs while smoking a cigarette, very crying. Huo Qingqing looked at the direction on stage and narrowed his eyes slightly. If Yi Ting is not deceiving, it can indeed provide a lot of high-quality resources for the hotel. After two days, you can do it. Don't tell the boss. Bei Mao raised his eyebrows. I saw Huo Qingqing look forward to. The boss gave us the opportunity to reform and renew, and gave us so many benefits. If we don't do something for the boss, it can't be justified. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.